it's a reconnected situation for y'all, man. Listen up. Yeah, we man. on the biggest episode of the 54. Episode 54. Today's yeah. episode 54, man. Why is, it, why is that the biggest episode? Because there's never going to be a bigger episode. I'm sorry. Excuse me. There's never going to be a bigger episode 54 than today's episode 54. I felt Whoa. that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What does that so mean? So 154, 254, 354. All the 54s are fucked. How many, don't look, how many they don't presidents look that have good. we had? We've had... Uh, fit, uh, well, we have... A, 44 president was... Obama, no. 44? <laughs> okay, never mind. I thought we so said we're like 50, at 46 man. right now? Oh, holy crap. I thought we said Yeah, because Trump was 45. Holy. That's like, they be repping that number like crazy. Yeah, they do. I think, are we on like on the same amount of presidents as we have states? Bro, uh, no. We're on. Hey, man, we talking about some nonsense. Let's get into the show, man. Y'all know the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes sir. Start we turning live. political. We in the building, man. What's up? Man, How y'all doing? doing? I'm, I'm doing deal, good, bro. Listen up, man. I just, uh, I'm, I'm recovering. You're recovering. I'm recovering from like a week filled with bad luck, bro. I oh my god! Wait, let me. Wait, wait. You had a gnarly week, bro. Yeah. I don't even think it was just you. I feel like it's just been something in the wind. In it's the that, air. Listen, if Mercury ain't retrograde, man, probably Venus or you know what I'm saying. The moon is. Mercury is and definitely re- drinking Gatorade. Man, right Earth, <laughs> Earth is in <laughs> retrograde. Let's get that to that. Good. That was good. That we part. talk about Mars and shit. No, but listen, y'all, like. <laughs> I've been having really tremendous bad luck. I want to give y'all a date in particular. So, I mean, just back and forth, back and forth. Like since since last Friday, my phone screen has been turning off every ten minutes. So let's get to that. You like know? you'll be on it and it just turn off. Yeah, just that's turn annoying, off, bro. Uh, and yeah. um, you know, uh, Sunday, uh, my 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 fucking rim cracks. I hit the. I, I hit, saw that. I hit oh, the oh, nastiest yeah, okay. pothole of all of downtown LA. And uh, bro, it cracked. It I don't want to crack. I should have bent, yeah. bro. I don't want to give out your uh, off the location, but just know by here, on one of the main streets. It was by one of these main streets by here. It was. It's one of the craziest, oh. gnarliest potholes I've ever experienced in my entire super life. Chat. Connected. Yo. Why was Blasi edging to female urine? Let's get to that. Why was Blasi? Shout out the new house. I, I think we might we have time for yesterday, yeah, 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 right? Yeah. We need reconnected IRL. Turn it to turn it to fifty dollars. Yeah, or, we were just talking about that. Or or, or let, let's just mute it and then we'll we'll read through them at the end or something. Uh-huh. There you go. There you go. But because uh, no, it's gonna just interrupt the podcast. And yeah, it's yeah. Gonna... I hit the nastiest pothole on these dainty ass fucking rims that should honestly be on a car that's like half my weight. You know why what I'm saying? Think, why like, do you say that? Yeah, it's, it's a heavy it, SUV. Yeah, and it's you aluminum these, tires. You have these sports car rims. tires. You know what I mean? Like, that should mm. be. On, it's really not supposed to be on smaller vehicles. Mm. Really? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, what? I didn't even know. Bro, that. Th- those rims they're they're like the they're like as thick as road bikes. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like barely. But They're nobody, nobody advised that to you when you got when you got them. No, not well, trying to make a sale. I, it was a yeah. It, it was, was a gift, wasn't it? Yes. Oh so damn, that, that's, that's a W. Count, then. That's a W. Yeah, but now I'm starting to wonder. Like, <laughs> and I wonder. <laughs> yeah, was this good? Was this gift planned so, out? Nah, but I'm super. So did they uh, reshape the rim? Well, no, I ended up just putting my stock rims. The 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 tow truck guy on Sunday told me like, "Yo, like just a heads up, like you're gonna run into this problem very often." And yeah. I've had those rims for about like a month and a half now. So and you didn't you didn't took a couple of, couple trips on them bitches already. Yeah, yeah. but it wasn't until like I hit like a dirty pothole. Like as soon as I hit it, I, I knew, knew it like no other up. like. Bro, I feel like my rims crack. I knew it. You know it's what I'm saying? It's after I, the rain too. Got, Every time it rains, like yeah. there's these crazy potholes that emerge out there's of nowhere. A, there's a spot in Hawthorne, right, that has they, they reshape any tire for like uh well any ram for like a hundred bucks. So oh man, I'm at yeah. the <laughs> Hawthorne tires then. Yeah. Uh, it's called Pacific Tires on Hawthorne but, Boulevard. Let's so, get to that. To anybody? Man. They're like, we usually work with Toyota rims, but we'll do a four. Now, G. <laughs> everyone go give them a five star right off the bat, man. We don't got. We're gonna tell them, hey, those tires. five stars y'all give, man. That's from Biggest Bro right there. Okay, so then okay, so then boom, you're that Sunday Monday. One day I come into my office, I'm fixing the rim all day. I'm, I'm running all throughout Southgate. They're telling me I can't do it with airbags, this and that. They don't know how to take the rim off. I, <coughs> I, I get that shit fixed, come to the office. <coughs> Turns out that a fucking, uh, some, some pipe down the street or something like that messed up. And this whole, the, the whole block, like the plumbing was, was screwed up. So there's no water coming into my, uh, into my uh, office, essentially. Yeah. So we had issues with the, with the restroom. So the day was pretty much over by like 6 7 p.m. for me you know tuesday i come by uh some crackhead down the block he, he was playing with the with the with the wires and stuff the whole power the whole playing with goes the off. wires what do you mean the the you know like I, there's a main power source like probably on the corner yeah. or something he's playing yeah. with what? them well yeah. you gotta remember he broke into it <laughs> well i, I act the mainframe <laughs> i've been working in like this great this, this like kind of like this district area. area for like the last like five years and uh, you you kind of acknowledge like the different zones that you're in. Like some they just specify on stealing like platinum from catalytic converters. Yeah. You know, there's a copper district. 
You know what I'm saying? That mm. you just see a bunch of just fucked up shit around. Dude, dude. I just clipping their nails. Uh, no, it's rather trying to light a oh, joint. I think, but uh, I just saw this video, dude, uh, of these uh, crackheads who had um, they tore down a uh, um, a phone tower, and phone yeah. towers are huge, right? Yeah. Shit, the shits are high as fuck. They uh, somehow cut the legs off so it falls over, and they ripped out all the copper wiring from it. And I guess it was a hundred dollars worth of copper wiring. God. And they destroyed and all, the whole thing. And the whole thing, because the Bro. whole thing is made of like steel and shit, but yeah. it's like some yeah. wire. And they cut down the whole thing just to get the wire out of it. Right. Like, like they get you bucks. like twenty perks or some shit. So <laughs> did, you, did, did you hear about the but, hom- did you hear about the homeless people that uh they were squatting in this mansion in L.A. Yes, and they started charging the only, only fans, bitches. Yes, yeah. I was That's showing crazy. that to Ali the other day. So yeah. basically, there was like some mansion right that was uh, up for sale, but um no, there's no you know buyers vacant, yet. Yeah. Some dude went over there with with some uh you know um pliers or something. Well, you know wire yeah. cutters or some shit uh, some broke the, broke the locks off and started advertising it. And basically, people came to. He didn't live there. He just started advertising it. I guess like OnlyFans girls on are like pure space and shit. Yeah. yeah, and girls are hitting him up, and he's like, "All right, two thousand a room." And I yeah. guess he rented it out to like four or five different people. Yeah, he ended up making like eighteen thousand dollars. They said, "Shut the fuck up." But dude, up. those girls fucking live like critters, bro. They live like animals. Yeah, they, they, I don't like the way you they say took, that. They took a <laughs> some racist. I feel like, oh yeah. my god, it's like some like, like racism. Bro, in, in the they windows. were going. They took a well, some one of the cameramen was going through the mansion. Yeah. Marble floors, you know, look super nice and shit. It's a fancy ass place, and there's just dog shit, dog piss, trash everywhere. Yeah, it was just fucked up. Like it dude. was, it was really fucked up. But it was like just crazy ass, and it was like nigga, they were damn near sleeping on us because some YouTubers went there for a video. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, yeah. And they like they, they broke they, in. They broke in. Oh shit. Type shit and uh. They was basically sleeping on their suitcases that they came with. The That's bitches? Grind. Yeah. How are you affording $2,000 rent for a, a room? I don't get it, dude. Bro, what? You have $100 for a yoga mat. I know. Right? Yeah. Like, dude. man, for No, on the suitcase is crazy. Yeah. On the suitcase that, is insane. Yeah, yeah, like, I'm not saying that I see them sleeping, sleeping on the suitcase, but they were oh, I like. I thought it was just like, a, like, like no, four packs of suitcases. But there was like, it was like nothing in there. It was like fucking deflated air mattresses. It was like two of those. But then everything, it was just like those scattered so clothes. Cool. Deflated? It was fucking, bro. It was <laughs> so gnarly, bro. It's like the gnarly thing. This levels to ghetto a deflated. Yeah. You're just sitting, you're <laughs> I sleeping, know. You're not rolling all over. <laughs> Hell no, nah, bro. But honestly, Say, oh, like, and can't to, afford air to give them the benefit of the doubt. Imagine you just came to LA, don't know anything about LA, and you see yeah. some on Pierce space, super nice mansion for you know your your budget. You're like, all right, let's go, W. Right. This is an amazing spot. What is a wood? Then the cops fucking drag you out. <laughs> yeah, but they they said the uh, girls were living there for like a month and a half before anything ever happened. Man, which is ridiculous. which is pretty gnarly, dude. Uh, there's a couple of mansions that happens to that, like uh, where that happens in Hollywood Hills. I remember there's one where um, I, I'm I'm a part of this like music video like a long time ago, yeah. and it was a, it was filmed at this mansion that was just it just became like the music video slash homeless spot. You know what I mean? It had a nice pool, nice view, everything, but I guess the owners were just not stopping. But this by. Is, this is my whole thing is like there got to be some type of private security, some situation like that where. In some places, you'd be surprised. Yeah. Yeah, and like surprised, with squatting bro. laws, it's like there's loopholes where like someone, like a homeless man, could be there and like he could finesse it to the like, nah, yeah. like he, you can't kick him out. You can't physically grab him out the house. Right. Yo, was that you? I'm using your phone. Wasn't was that you? Was was that you that we were about to have that? Uh, we're about to have like a market type situation. I don't know. Like we were about to do some type of pop up situation, and somebody had squatted. In the fucking venue, what, and we're about to have it at yeah, and and like they couldn't get they couldn't get <laughs> them out. Funny. That, that's funny. That was that wasn't you. That no, that sounds like a nightmare, bro. There goes my phone again. But well, that sounds know. like a nightmare as far as like a landlord. Imagine dealing with that shit. That could yeah. That's, that's but uh, as for security, bro, like I, I think I've told this story before. A long time ago, me and my dad installed like over a hundred thousand dollars worth of appliances into a kitchen of a brand new you know brand spanking new house. A hundred thousand uh, dollars worth, kitchen, worth of just the, yeah. Kitchens are the most expensive place of any house, yeah, you know, yeah. as for appliances and shit. Especially if you're buying all new appliances. Yeah. So uh, we had just finished installing uh, installing everything. We left, and we were supposed to um, like come back to like do a couple last things, and then we uh, like I think it was the next day or two days later, uh, we get an, you know, notified that that place got robbed and all those appliances got stolen. So we install them. And then either that night or the next day, all of them got unscrewed and fucking and Damn, taken out and, and taken away. And it's just like, that was a nice ass place we were working at. You know what I mean? Like, why yeah. wouldn't they have a security guard either? But 
Yeah, yeah it's, it's wild. It's expensive to tell someone to sit yeah. in your house. So it's kind of re- it's expensive to tell somebody to give a fuck too about your house. Exactly. That's everybody, everybody. That's what you have to worry about is they have to care. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, cause it's a job. Is a job. Yeah. You know. I mean, I was even looking at these skyscrapers in downtown. I was thinking like, how wonderful would it be if you're just a homeless man? You just pop up to the 50th floor. Right? Yeah. You right. have a you have a priceless view. Sure, you don't have like a bed in there. Maybe maybe you do. Homeless like, nigga, 50th floor. Ian, how about you? But bro, <laughs> honestly, if I if, that if push sure. came to shove and I was out here on these streets like that like bro i'm hopping i'm hopping the fence in one of these high rises man i'm getting the penthouse suite. they probably got the stairs installed bro. there still you know yeah, what i mean like dude, the rooms uh, are probably like hey, made up you, you know? know what's crazy my, my home girl lived in some super nice uh apartment downtown or whatever and i guess like the apartment that they gave her they gave it to her at a dis- discounted rate because some home uh, some homeless niggas had broke into the unit mm-hmm R worded a girl and oh murdered and God. murdered her. Oh, they needed to the demolish that moved, building. And they moved the homegirl into this unit. Nah, bro. I couldn't. I couldn't. Nah. Bro, that's what I'm saying. I'm no. like, nigga, I need my bread back. Need bro, that probably happened yeah. in this room. This shit's old as fuck. I would have had nightmares, bro. No, that's dumb. Come on, don't put that <laughs> hey, on my office. No, you did say this, this bitch be haunted though, didn't you? Yeah. yeah well, it, you you guys yeah. been, uh, said it's that. very much. I thought haunted. you said that that when you no, I said that too. I did experience some weird shit, hundred percent. Yeah. Nah. Wait, speaking of experiencing weird stuff, didn't you also get bit by a dog? Well, that's why I wanted get into yeah, yeah. So, so those were my monday <laughs> things right so like the water messed up i got home went through it right to start working at the crib tuesday we come to the office we're working yeah they, they're fucking with the copper as we we're talking about and uh the whole office goes down so i tell my team man let's push to my crib i get to my crib and my power's down too at your house yes Damn. what's going on with you bro um, um, they they put brujeria on me bro yeah you're like brujeria? hexed or something that's yeah. crazy somebody put a hex on you which crap I know who it was. All right, I so, know too. All right, no, this nigga is fucking dumb. So look, hey, so I asked Blasi. Uh, you told me this the other day on the phone. He's I was like, bro, did you break stupid. a mirror? Like, did you break a mirror? Did you walk under a, he broke a some ladder? Hearts. That's what I just it was. pissed someone off. I don't know. He broke some hearts. That's what he broke. Shit. Jeez. All right, so keep but going. Listen, now. So, go so look, so so Tuesday, so I go in my crib. Now I have my whole office who pushed up. Right. You know, fucking an hour or whatever. With, you know, I'm exaggerating, but like they, they, they It's they a nice left. little drive. It's a nice little drive. Yeah, they left during like prime time traffic in LA. So we get there, we get to my office, and I'm like, fuck, I'm to trying. To, so yeah, so it's it's 5 p.m. and trying to call and uh, I'm telling my landlord, what's going on? And he's like, what the, you know? And then he's like, well, you got to call them. So I call them. They're not answering, but I pull up at like 5 25, and they're like, oh, well. I'm like, dude, I don't have my account information to pay this online. Like, let me know what's going on. He's like, oh well, you came too late. I'm like, dude, like my garage don't work. Like, yeah. I don't have heater in my in my house. He's like, oh my god. Bro. He told me, he told me, oh you'll survive. I got so fucking. Oh pissed. you're so. He said that to you. Oh yeah. you'll in survive. Person. In person. That's crazy. It was a security guard. He said, guard. oh you you'll survive. Yeah. I got high, bro. I, I went down my car and shit, but I was like, nah, I'm I'm already, I'm already having a bad day. I want to make it worse. Would you thought, that for know, sure would have made it worse so that was a good decision yeah he yeah. probably thought he probably like look at you, you and know, I ain't trying to act about that city hall you know what yeah. I mean it's a nice did you have a bang bob chain on too no, I was I, gonna I, say no I, I tuck in I don't, I don't look crazy whenever like even business meetings I don't have chains out Cause I'm it's like, just on camera. Cause I'm he like, probably bro. pulled. He probably thought you were like some Silver Lake, you know, uh, guy who never experienced no hardships and was I like, for sure you'll high. be good without the fuck." I looked faded as fuck. Probably, I'm good. He probably smelled like weed and shit. But yeah, like, he wasn't fucking with me. So now, I'm like, I'm homeless, man. Like, my office don't work. My did trip you, don't work. Did you get get a hotel or what'd you do? I was gonna get a hotel, but then I realized I got a gang of friends, gang of family that you I could, out. you know. <coughs> so I ended up uh, crashing that bricks crib, right? Yeah. So your, let me, your biggest bro, yeah. nah, my little bro, little your, your best, your bestest bro, nah, crashiest cool. bro. We're, we're good friends. Crashiest bro. <laughs> so that's so not the only time you crash with Brick. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, yo. So, so I tell him where you at. He's like, I'm on my screen printer. So I push up, that was a right? Good one. I push up, and there's this uh, big ass dog, bro. It's a King Corso. On oh, God, bro. I, love those. I, I have multiple people who confirm this story, bro. I walk in, this dog's like bracing, like. You know, like bowing its head, having its ass up, trying. Yeah. Oh, he's literally like sizing you up. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm thinking he's gonna be playful. You know what I mean? I think he's gonna do one of them like, like those harmless golden like, retriever pranks. You real like, oh, yeah. you know. So, he, I, I like. I, I'm thinking all cool, like saying what's up to the big dog, and like, oh, what's up? I man, I do this. You know what I mean? I'm walking. Hey, how's it going, bro? It fucking goes at me, bro. It it puts its fucking its molars. On my fucking wrist, bro. You can still see the teeth. Marks. This was this Briggs dog. Damn. No, I say Briggs dog. I'd, I'd sue his ass. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a screen printer, homie. Man, shout out to my boy Kong. Um, I'd sue Kong his ass. Said, Kong said, "Sick him." <laughs> yeah, bro. So that shit. Fuck. I, I 
and literally in that moment, bro, I fucking rip. I, I oh, before he, he even gets like a real hold on me, but he was able like to slide his fucking teeth, bro. And just oh. thinking like if the artery got wrong, so like my so I was homeless, you, and then I got bit by a big ass as dog. As soon bro. as you got there, yeah, as soon as I got there, yeah, like you got what's some, up, dapping everybody up, like as I'm walking in, type shit, like oh, I'm, what's good? I'm like, not did gonna you lie. up. Yeah, well, I was hot, bro. I was, I was livid, and I'm like. Bro, like I'm not like bleeding, so I can't really like be that angry. Yeah. But it's nothing small, bro. Like, where do you go from here? You feel me? Yeah. And these I'm are not like my lie. homies and shit. So it's like you can't really. It's not like some full blown stranger. And, yeah. Like, That's I'm, like if Chippy bit you type shit. I'm not hanging out with you, like like. Outside well, I was of hot the, in my head, bro. I'm like, you got um, something going on right now. Like, yeah, <laughs> I know. Well, I'm saying, bro, I got witchcraft put on me. That's, bro, now I'm now crazy, I'm nervous because I'm going with him. Why are you? <laughs> you don't got jinx shit, bro. No, I'm joking. You, no, I will. Yeah, knock on some big wood. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Beans is tripping. So look, yeah. Beans about to bite you next. Yo, what if Beans <laughs> runs up and just bites you in the knee? <laughs> I'm not surprised at this point, bro. Yeah, now, and now on top of that, yeah, my Beans, phone don't stop. even work, as y'all can see. You feel me? Like, my shit don't even, like... And it's like, it's either I spend a band and go get one at Apple, or I wait yeah. four hours and just kick... I'm like, I'm on Moss Plant still, right? So it's either, like... I just post stuff for, and just That's wait for four hours, you. but yeah, well, I'm trying to save some money. Do you, uh, when you shower, oh, I knew you bath, but. Uh, no, I shower. Did, but when you shower, do you like listen to videos on your phone? Is your phone near you in the hot ass shower? I mean, it's, it's on a counter, like. Cause I feel like yeah, I feel I mean, like the hot steam it's no, not, no. It fucks it up no, no, after no, no, a while. No, no, you're it's not right. That. No, no, no. no. Right? Yeah, I'm not saying this for your specific yeah. phone, but that's happened to me plenty of times. Dude, thank you're you. literally right. It, it, it'll mess up the uh, it'll mess up the speaker first. Something yeah. will start uh, over time. No, so the it new won't phones are right away. The new iPhones are waterproof. Yeah, they're water right. yeah, but they're not like they're not, condi- they're not condensation proof. Where like <laughs> shit is just sitting exactly. Yeah, they're just sitting in the phone the whole time. That's like steamy 50 minute showers. Like I'm taking 50 minutes. I'm taking a Eight minute, like, like, man, I got brush. Bro, my teeth. you be, be in the, fair. It takes like a bathroom two minutes to get steamy. Bro, you be in the bath for like hours, bro. No, you brush your Even teeth if, in the shower in the lukewarm yes, water until it gets cold. Do you guys do that? No, you you spit on your feet. Okay, yes, bro. I'm spitting on my feet for hey, sure. Hey, hey. No, it's a white ass tub, bro. I'm spitting in front of me. Listen, if I don't like, Wait, I didn't think you say you spit on your feet. This bro, I'm, spi- I'm not brushing my teeth while I'm bathing. I'm brushing my teeth in the shower is falling in the tub. But the thing that's on yeah. my by my I gotta do those separately. Yeah, yeah. me too. Well, I've, I've well, tried brushing. Let me, let me, let me before y'all brushing your teeth butt ass naked. Oh. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> you just like this meat swinging. In. <laughs> you just say the same thing about shampoo. <laughs> the fuck you say shit shit about fucking soap yeah but like if some shampoo falls on my pubes it's probably good for my for my that's what i was bro, gonna say yeah. my i'm not i'm not weird like y'all my toothpaste doesn't have fluoride i have fluoride free i toothpaste. have fluoride free that toothpaste nigga. as well but Doms, the, that's right yeah but the mint yeah. bro the, like i've had the mintiness like fall on my dick before while i'm brushing my I'm teeth not, in the shower and i was like dude i don't I'm like not that cirque, bro I don't like that feeling. You know what I'm saying? It don't that fall. That nigga's gonna have the mintiness so look, fall on my dick. These niggas taking icy hot showers, <laughs> bro, bro. bro. Listen, that nigga's putting a lot, a strip bro. of, a strip of toothpaste can, down your dick is crazy. No. Riley, can you mute their mics? <laughs> I'm trying to prove a point. Listen, what I'm trying to say here is you got no point to prove, my bro, boy. You're tripping. Listen, why the hell am I gonna get all fly? Put this shirt on, put these black pants on, so I can fucking the. Listen, I'm not the cleanest when I, when I brush my teeth. I like to be rigorous. I get in there. I'm yeah. not. I don't want to worry about like, oh, I'm wearing the pants. Ah, ah. No, no, I'm not saying be fully dressed. You wearing? A, I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna get out and brush my teeth and shit right and before lean I lean over my, the sink, bro. Yeah, but I'm just naked. standing. Up so like you're brushing this, your teeth bro. naked as well? No, and but listen, I put some boxers on. Bro, <laughs> I got some boxers and a beater on. Yeah, draw on. Brushing hey, my man. teeth. Hey, look, listen, bro. I'm in the shower. I'm. Inactive clean I'm like oh it's there Fuck bro I gotta wait tomorrow so your morning tooth like, br- your toothbrush And your toothpaste Is in the shower with you Yes That's crazy that's Why nice. yeah. I don't know why It's just I don't do it so I think it should be on the seat. I don't do it So I'm just confused bro. On why you know? you know what bro I've actually been doing this For two years And it's honestly Every time I do it I'm like wow I, I need to put people Onto this shit It's way easier sufficient It's, yeah. it's a one stop shop Cause you know Brush what? your teeth Cause, Cause beyond look, brush, you know, I'm putting the soap on. You know, I'm soaping myself down, shower, conditioner, and like a face wash. Yeah. Are you brushing the, one, once or twice a day? Brushing once a day. I'm Mexican. What does that have to do with you being but Mexican? Mexicans <laughs> don't brush your teeth at night. Thank hey. you. I guess Russians don't do that neither. Sometimes <laughs> don't. Sometimes I will. It, it, it really depends. Maybe if I, if I ate some crazy shit and I just don't want to go to sleep with that yeah, yeah, that's taste time, in my yeah. mouth, then yeah. And I know people are lying like, ugh, because like, bro. Yeah, niggas is lying. I'll be with a home, like my homie might sleep over, a homegirl might sleep over, yeah. and I'm like, bitch, you didn't, you didn't, I didn't brush see your teeth. you go with. Well, yeah. yeah, only way I'm brushing my teeth before I go to sleep is if I threw up. 
How often do you be throwing I up? I don't man? throw up often, but oh. I'm just saying like, I'm like, what do you mean? I don't brush my teeth before I go to bed often either. I'm just saying I'll like, get one out. Listen, if I, I have a date, you, if, if I got to link up like at night, I might hit it one Bro, time, you know? You that's what to. I'm saying. Or like, okay, if I woke up. But if, if I'm lonely that night, if I'm just going to sleep, like look, the fuck? I'm if I eat peanut butter before I go to sleep. And look, if, I, if I woke up and I brush my teeth, and I'm about to link up with somebody like later on in the evening or something, I'm gonna rebrush. Yeah. I'm gonna rebrush just real quick. If I've been smoking, I've been, you know what I'm saying? Like just You're be purposely like wait, man, wait, I'm be nasty. But okay, but this is gonna take me no. back. This is, gonna, this is gonna take me back though, right? So you said when if you If I'm linking with a bitch, if, if never. You, if you link with a bitch at night, do you just like so boom, you I'm re showering. Yeah, yeah, I'm re showering. I'm, I'm re showering. Yeah, I've been re, sitting all day. Re showering. I'm re uh deodorant up, re Grab new boxers. It's a it's a new day. It's a new day. It's a, new day. It's a yes. new day. If I'm linking with a bitch, I'm a new nigga. I'm a shave. I might hit the sh yeah. I might shave. I'm a shave. I'm gonna like switch clothes, switch boxers, fix the lineup. I'm a lotion up. You know what I mean? Spray some deodorant. I mean, spray, spray I, some uh, cologne. And if I'm a, like two hours two hours ahead and I like really fuck with her, I might hit the the black face mask. Whoa, you know what I'm saying? Post up in good, post up in the living room for a bit. Good skin peel. Yeah, put put, put a little cucumbers under the eyes. You uh, feel me? Nah, I might nah, hit the yeah. bat on God in heaven. Listen, nah, if I'm, doing if I'm too much. with a I also don't smoke like these that niggas having time. spa days before they go to the fucking for a date. <laughs> oh nigga. What God, the fuck? nah. Real. Well, that's yeah. some real shit. Look, I'll, I'll hit the Look, bat. You've been, you you been married, your body. You know, you've been married for like seven years, so you're not trying to impress your bitch no more. No, I still sometimes you gotta impress her. You feel me? I still be, I still I, be doing our shit. I couldn't tell, but yeah, I feel he you. comes home and shows her like video clips of him surfing. Like, babe, check, look at that fucking. That's slice. his. That's his impression. <laughs> yeah. You saw that you, slice on the wave. Right I know there, you. Babe? I know you not talking. <laughs> I know you not talking. You come home and show Riley fucking cameras on Amazon. Like, look at this fucking lens. Look at the lens. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe oh I have. Fucking god, bro. But listen, listen. Apparently, not just you is having a bad week, bro. I feel like, I feel like there's been so much random shit just going on this week. I don't even know where to start, bro. It's like so much crazy shit, bro. But the most recent thing that I've been personally paying attention to is this goddamn Meek Mill's Diddy oh man lawsuit, crazy. goddamn Twitter rants. It's like, crazy how Meek Mill got mixed in that. It's shit, not just right? Meek Mill. People are forgetting Usher. Usher. Man, yeah, everybody knew Usher was gay, though. Hey, but, the thing hey, but, is, though, Usher was a kid when he was when he was part of all that. Like they yeah. brought him around when he was fourteen. So, yeah. man, that that's what you call statutory, yeah, right? You know weird. what I'm saying? But like, did you guys see the but Meek Mill? Man, he was in there as a 29 year old man. Like, did you guys see the video it. on it where yeah. like he in the in the court? The reason why people are getting the Meek Mill and the Usher name is not because they they were named by name. They weren't named at all. It's because in the documents it said a dude from Philly who mm -hmm. dated Nikki, well, and then yeah. also a person who specifically performed for the Super Bowl or whatever. It was like very vague. But it was basically them Yeah so like They they redacted the names And then like you just said In the notes In the notes It just said yeah. Such specific things that, About them That there was no other way That you were talking like, about You have to be an Anybody Nazi. else yeah. You no. feel me But look But the crazy part was So it was a producer uh, Like Diddy's old producer Who filed the lawsuit But it's crazy Because he was having Some type of royalty dispute With Diddy mm -hmm. Which has been a common Reoccurrence Yeah Throughout the whole bad boy oh, history. We spent a minute I mean? on that, man. You Shout out to know. the Black Femininity <clears throat> TV. Shout out to Black Femininity TV, bro. That's a tongue twister. Hey, this is when I knew Blasi was a real ass nigga, bro. We was at the office, like working on some shit, cooling. Neck deep in the Black Femininity. Neck she, deep. I love her content. Balls deep, bro. In this, so it's like I, I watched this random, like I mean, it's not random. Like yeah. she be getting that views. was like two hours yeah, too. At yeah, that. like not even, not even no disrespect. She's definitely not random, but I, I watch this person all the time, and we in the office cooling. Yeah, Topics. Yeah, and Blazzy pulls this up, and he's like, "Yeah, I watch this channel." I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, Bla Blazzy, like Blazzy is literally an onion of so many different layers; it makes no sense. I don't black even black femininity, black TV. B BFTV, bro, black oh, femininity God, TV. They just called this and nigga be, onion, and she be. <laughs> <laughs> he, smell, he smells like one too. Yo, nah. Bro, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But no, but um, so it's crazy because the 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 producer he really didn't have to bring any of that up in the lawsuit. I think he just brought it up to like get people to be talking well, about the lawsuit. Not mm. only that, it's really gonna piss off P. Diddy. So exactly, and he, he's kind of playing. He's trying like, to like poke the. He's playing legal. Uh, 
um, you know, uh, magical chairs where it's like he's just trying to find out what we could get away with. Yeah, you know, yeah. where it's like Man, it's good. Diddy ain't going to jail. The, but, but the look, thing is, the, the the more they talk about, it, the more he's bigger. He, yeah, he, they're gonna do him like like how they paid out Cassie, where Cassie got paid out of court. Exactly. You know so, what I mean? But, so it's like, what hey, I'm saying, like hey, just stop popping this but shit this online. Is what, like here's your bag. But this you is what I'm much. saying. But this is what I'm saying. Could that not be a tactic? Yes, absolutely, it's a tactic. So it's like. I'm not even saying that I do believe or that I don't believe because honestly at this point it's been so much shit out about this nigga that it's like yeah he don't, really, even, he don't yeah. even remember at this point you Bro, can listen. say you got an allegation yeah, goddamn yeah, but listen but it's like at what point does it get confusing <clears throat> at what point does it get like fuck anybody could just be saying shit no exactly you that, know what I'm saying but that but be happening but I gotta be play, real I gotta play devil's advocate though because if Meek Mill was trying to defend himself, he did a terrible yeah. job at he that. He said, oh, I love man. pussy so much. What are you talking about? I was like, what? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> girls, chicks? I love them. I fuck He them. said, I, I run red lights to chase girls. He said that. Bro, no he way. Said, yeah. He said, I love like pussy so much. Like, I ran red lights. Nah, he was like, he, yeah, yeah, he said that too. For he that. said that too, but he was like. He'd be metaphoric, like period? No, 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 no. He meant, no, no I thought this is what eight, he meant too. Eight. I thought oh, that's what he meant too. Okay, okay. But look, but there no no no. There was another one too where he was like, Yeah, like ask about me. Like if I'm with a girl, I'm fucking her twice a day. Oh yeah, I seen that. That's, <laughs> that's like, disgusting. Nigga, it's nasty bro. work, bro. I mean like that bro, shit finna tear your shit. I mean, I'm not even say, like, like none Wait, of that. What? Is, none of Twice that today is not. None of that is neither here nor there, y'all. I, uh, yeah, n none of that matters. The only the, it's just weird. <laughs> it's not unlimited for me. I'm yeah. sorry, y'all. Like, I'm just saying, like that doesn't matter okay. regardless. Exactly. That's just a weird thing to say. It yeah. don't matter if he said one time a day. If he said seventeen yeah. times and, and, a day, and, and, and he was following the uh, the gay black porn site. Yo, he got he was? There's no he, way. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. So before people started saying something about it, they were screenshotted and like doing screen record videos where it was meek it was like meek mills was following some like black gay porn twitter page okay yeah. but look, and it was in the likes he, no but here's my thing though is he liking black gay porn it was in the likes because, Bro, he what, was hold following on, because what it could have been what that page said uh the black switcher. straight hoes you know no, what i'm saying it, and then it they, wasn't, it they was wanted amazing. to pull a fast one on meek mill and they just changed their instagram uh, i feel uh, you I feel or like the it Twitter was, name. Someone could have do that as well. Yeah, yeah but because that's, that's like a that's like a long top tier troll, troll it, right there. But if you be, own that account, you'd be like, ooh, was, this is gonna be viral. Yeah, yeah. but like it yeah. was really before like the whole. Yeah, shit I think this was out. before that gang. It was yeah. before the whole shit. That's a funny. Out. No, 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 no. You know what, bro, bro, bro? Listen, we can keep going. We can keep going. There, there's been so much shit that's been coming out. There also was. Y'all gotta stop playing with my boys, top man. Wait, listen, listen. Yo, this team. No, he's playing with the top. Yo, but listen, hear me out. Did you see the other one? One? Did you see the other one that was uh he tweeted like how can I disconnect my Amazon purchases oh, yeah. from and Twitter? And it was a dildo. And it was a big ass like 12 inch dildo. What have he getting for uh some freaky shorty in his life? I don't Listen, know. Nah, bro, there's no freak way. mill. Freak mill is at it, bro. Freak, they, they, they hey, said, academics they, is funny as fuck. They said I'm they sorry. Gonna hit this nigga with a freako. That shit had me dying, bro. A freaky Rico is crazy. Bro, a Pete Rico? Mill has been through so much, bro. Pete he got Mill? he got arrested for mini bikes. He said he, Pete he fumbled, Mill. He fumbled Nicki Minaj. He got he got released from prison, bro. He fell. He 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 took yeah. the L on that whole uh, Drake battle. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like it's over with. Hey, but Damn, also his bro. careers. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I just feel bad for my Dude, dog, we, man. Prayers for to meet with this whole situation as well coming out. Like it really feels like the older we get, that saying of. You either die hero or, or live, live long, long enough live to, long be, enough to be the, the villain. villain. Bro, it's true. All of our classic artists that we grew up to, that we loved as kids. Not every, all of them. Damn all near. Them. Uh, damn near. Them. Like literally damn near. I see what you mean though. A lot of, a lot a of, lot shit, of, is, a lot of shit is going more to years, shit. More years are passing. By 10 years, we would have brought up P. Diddy. What are you talking about? Yeah. Now it's like that guy, you know, it's like give yeah. it another 10 years. Who knows what we're going to, McDonald's is going to be in jail, bro. It's going to be insane, dude. Barney's going to be locked up. Look, SpongeBob's going to have a case. But like, do you, do you think that that sentiment is kind of like, having people not take certain allegations as serious nowadays because there is so many and there's so many being thrown on so many different people yeah. and even like even with the diddy shit like we were like i was just saying bro it's 1000 percent facts that that probably most of if not some of that shit is probably 100 percent facts right yeah it's like now listen though yeah. now but where it gets muddy though is because people look at shit like that as an opportunity to where it's like, if you worked for Diddy 20 years ago, this is your time to exactly. fucking shine. Especially since the first yeah. girl just got like 80 million or I don't know, okay, I'm Speaking over exaggerating. Of, he, I mean, he, he, the first girl got a ton of money Cassie, and then Cassie, immediately, yeah. literally a day after the news was released that she won the There's case, other another girl immediately came out. Yeah, and I'm not saying she's you know lying, but it just shows that 
you, after a while you might deal with it you might put it in the past but then if you realize like bro i can get a like 10 million dollars yeah. i can get compensated for bro, this bullshit bro you know what's one of the you craziest ones that got brought up out of everything one of the craziest ones was uh there was a rapper named shine back in the day in the early 2000s Diddy, yeah, yeah, shout out to Traveler Ross. <laughs> Diddy and J Lo, Diddy and, was dating Jennifer Lopez at the time. Yeah. They're in the club. Shine is signed to Bad Boy Records. They're in the club. Something happens, some type of altercation. Diddy has allegedly either has Shine shoot the nigga oh, or shoot up the shot club, the girl in the or face. or Diddy shot it up she, himself allegedly. She, she made a video and she's she the made girl, a video. The girl, who got, the girl who got shot. She said that's not a girl. That is a lady. That happened to her in 1999. The, the lady who got shot, she said, Diddy shot me. Bro. But She and, said it. But think about how crazy that is for her to just now be saying that when that happened in 1999. Nigga, Shine went to jail for like 10 years. That, yeah. that's he got deported. I, bro. He got, got deported. deported. Was, and bro, his rap career was on fire at that time. That was, was the popping. first thing I thought, right? Is like, you know, you see this story and immediately you feel sympathetic for this woman, right? But then as I was watching her video, the, the confidence <laughs> in which she says... P Diddy shot me. I'm like, didn't this guy go to jail? And like, you know, you were involved yeah. in this. How did you not help that guy? Like, what? You didn't even talk about it. Like, I'm like, it's bro, because what nigga, about the dude? It's because that nigga P Diddy's worth 800 million dollars, and they they see that nigga giving up bread because he don't want to talk to nobody. That's insane, bro. I can't believe. And like, he, I think they're just draining the swamp hole for all these creeps yeah. out here. And uh, you know, you also see something what was happening with Vince McMahon. He's Yo. shitting on employees' heads. Yo, you know, yeah. doing all types you know, of shit. Having <laughs> he's naming dildos after uh, popular, uh, um, yeah, wrestlers. After so the wrestlers, there's one named Undertaker, a Rikishi. That's crazy. Booker Yo, T. I didn't Rik see none of this. This the, is crazy. What? What if there was like a? Yeah, Penguins got a good video on it, but you can I'm, find extensive. No, I'm gonna watch the Penguins video. Yeah, yeah. bro, that's dope. there's it's like disgusting. I mean, I know, there's like a Rikishi crazy. ass sex doll. Oh, that's crazy. Hey, speaking of Rikishi, should we talk about? The Rikishi effect T. Uh, the Rikishi effect T and the effect it's caused. Oh, the drama. The drama. Is. Fuck it. Let's speak on it. Because that was the dumbest thing that ever. That was literally I don't the stupidest shit I ever seen. I don't know who this person is, but basically so we, look, we dropped the Rikishi you effect You do know. You, you, you probably don't know, no. Oh, okay, but I but might. this person has been around oh, like okay. for years, bro. He used to give he used to give us wrestling shirts yeah. back in the day at No Jumper on yeah. Melrose. So okay, that's okay. kind of like. In the day. What's that's up. probably why he feels some type of way. And I met him at a complex concert years ago. So check it out, bro. We made this shirt and it's it's so fucked up. I I I was DMing and he's like, cause he hit me up the same week saying, "Wow, bro, congrats on your new office." I like the message. Mm -hmm. He thought that doing that that got me on a whole wave of, oh, I'm gonna search up wrestling shirts. Ooh, let me use his as a reference. I'm like, bro, cause he DMed first you. of yeah, he was like, "Wow, this is what I get for being nice." He right. told me as I'm responding, he blocks me. I'm like, how could you even live with yourself? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, I'm no, not no, done no, yet. No, bro. go ahead, Blazzy. Go ahead, Blazzy. Listen, bro, well, that shit got me fucked up cause I'm. Bro, what the fuck? Why would I want to copy you? First of all, you think you own wrestling shirts. He Second doesn't own all, wrestling shirts, but this shirt was made last April. That's a fact. Third of all, we have countless references of saying we gotta drop this shirt. We gotta drop but this shirt. But, but hear me out. I also had talked to him in the DMs and shit too, for sure. Like, I, like I said, I've known him since, or I've known of his brand. I couldn't believe I've that. Known of I'm his like, bro, brand. you're the homie. Like, I've, what? I've known of his brand since, like I said, Melrose days type shit. But that does not mean that you own wrestling. Nigga, you're not the WWE. <laughs> like, yeah. like you you can't get mad at that, bro. Like, we just yeah. made a wrestling shirt. Nobody's thinking about you or wrestling related to you, bro. Yeah. Wrestling as a point of reference for everybody. Yeah. Like, just because you decided to base your whole entire brand off of just wrestling you know does not mean fan base yeah, isn't wrestling. That doesn't mean that that doesn't mean that everybody else can just never use wrestling as a reference. And he has just the wrong idea because now he's just so stubborn and it says like, oh, that's what I get for being nice. And now he's going to be upset at himself and be bad at people for the rest of his life. It's like, bro, you can't be living your life like that. But I'm look, sorry. this is my whole I thing. I couldn't believe it. I put a lot of people, I'll give people benefit of the doubt that that's just reserved for crazy people. Yeah. You but know look, what I'm saying? But look, hear me out, hear me out. My thing is like, bro, I talked to him before in the DMs me for too. sure, but that don't mean we I've dapped him up in person. That's what I'm saying, you but that I'm don't saying? mean. Like, but that don't mean that we that we that don't mean that like he's acting like we designed this with him and then cut him out and then did this on our own or something mm -hmm. like, bro. Like there was no actual discussion of doing a serious deal or and also, a serious. If you pay attention to why the shirt is released, right? It's not because we of were some randomly random inspired. Guy. It's because Blazies has random quotes. 
He said the Rikishi effect, and then it just snowballed from there. Which has been out for a year. You know what I'm it's saying? Like, like we really need to do a sprite. You were saying Rikishi effect, I think, on Disconnected already. Yeah, you know was. what I mean? Like, so. That's why I brought but it up. But that's what I'm saying. It's like, bro, like, you don't own wrestling. That's kind of crazy for you to get mad so at. So as I'm typing, before, I just blocks me. Look, I'm like, wow, that's, yeah, that's some bitch shit. And speaking of block, before before you even, I mean, after you said that, before I could even go say anything or, or DM him, like, yo, why are you tripping? Nigga, I go, and he blocked me, too. He blocked all of us, probably. Right, bro, how you be that? No, everyone's wrong. I'm right. You, y'all, fucked me up. I'm victim. I'm blocking y'all. I want to go to sleep early tonight. Like, bro, come on. Yeah. Get real. I don't know, man. But I'm that glad you mentioned that. That, that, that shit, that shit uh, got got my heart. Uh, because you're the shit. designer. Like you designed it, you know. No, Edgar made it. Oh, Edgar designed it. But bro, he but nevertheless, it's like he designed you know, this shit like a year ago, w, bro. Yeah, bro. What? And I didn't even tell Edgar. I didn't want to like confuse him. And be like, uh, uh, what? Yeah, right. <laughs> I <didn't wanna. laughs> I'm like, look, so this is guy, bro. You yeah. know, Melrose days. It's like, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> this like, is like, guy from five years ago. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> but, but anyways, man. Oh wait, I have another random topic I want to bring up. Okay, bring so up. I don't remember when you guys said this, but at some point, I think Blazzy said that even you don't own one of the OG perk jerseys, right? I have. I, don't own I have one, one sample. You have kept one. Tokas sixteen. Um, yeah, just like the B, just like the BB has. Yeah, exactly, and Blazzy has uh, zero, right? Yeah. So you said like, "Fuck, I would w want one from like to want want to purchase one or, or something like that, right?" For memories, this uh, dude shout to Dakota. We should cut it in half. We should cut I'm the not one. Paying Reese? No, 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 no. Hold on. Wait, let wait, me, wait, let wait, me wait, 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 wait. Before you even say that though, let, let me just say with the one that I have, we should cut it in half. And and get it framed, and you get the front, and I, and I get the back, or whatever. Oh, that's actually a good oh. idea. Yeah. And half okay. like that. It's the, like, it's the original sample one that I wore. Yeah, yeah. That's the only one yeah, that I have. That's a, that's a good idea. But okay, so. You give me goosebumps right now. You want now, the like front, that. or you want you want the, the flying perk, or you want the old set? I want the flying perk, bro. All right, I'll, and I'll keep the back. Let's go. Um, so that's real. Uh, I appreciate that shit, bro. What? That's, that's a hard that's 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 gift. This kind of solves what I was going to bring up, but... Uh, Sorry, my bad, my bad. Shout out to Dakota. He DM'd me, and he basically said that, like, he's seen that podcast, and he was like, yo, he owns one of the OG jerseys. He, like, he purchased it during that, you know, the, during that drop, and he said he wanted to gift it to the office oh, bro, to what? frame it. And I told him, I was like... I'm going to be honest. I was honest. like, dude, that's a legendary jersey. I was like, you know, are you sure you want to, like, you know, gift it Honestly, or whatever it is? What, what's oh, his name that, again? A Dakota. Hey, Dakota, I'm not going to hold you, bro. That's such a fucking dope-ass fucking thing for you to even suggest listen Dakota. but don't even do it don't even do it dakota keep it what i'm no i'm saying I'm a, no 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 I want what? The jersey. no i'm saying on some homie shit keep it me and you can split the one that we got we we're both saying no i got blasey that nigga's oh, saying no nah, i want, I want okay. to wear it i want to be able to rotate it touch it like look bro you give me that man i'm gonna give you a fucking sample you know what i'm saying not mm. even a gift i'm talking about one and one Nothing personal product If you could give me that I'll link you with the code I'll send you his Instagram Okay wait 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 Real quick I'm also looking for a, For a pair of bones And a bank bob Oh I got it I got it Fucking I, AD stole my bank bob I got a no. black and yellow Hey I well, got When it. he was on the show Motherfucker Y'all were in front of him No uh, I don't remember that Hey uh, I got a pair of the Black and yellow bones You made for me Never that Yeah you can have them What Yeah they're clean as fuck <laughs> Got them still But listen Speaking of giving away stuff the new High Rollers release that yeah. I just did yesterday. Congrats. First of all, shout out to everybody for running it up. I think we yeah, sold out on the thermal. Yeah. We sold out on the t-shirt. But guess what? It. We still got Matt. Because we we over-ordered on these shoes. I ain't going to hold you. Yeah. I'm like, black and white niggas is going to buy them. You feel me? Yeah. So look, if you're watching the motherfucking live right now, mm -hmm. go on the website. Use the code reconnect777. Yeah, you get 20% off on the shoes right now. This is only going until 9 p.m. And this is so if you're watching the show yeah. right now, you have to spend two hundred dollars and you get twenty percent off. Two hundred dollars is the pair of the shoes. Is so. it all yeah. caps? Like, let, let, like Re spell it out. Reconnect seven seven seven. That's Yo, the Maj, reconnect Maj, it or reconnect. That reconnect. Reconnect seven 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 is the code. Not past tense, y'all. Regular reconnect. R E C O N E C T seven seven seven. Yeah. The, and it's 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 up two hundred dollars or more. So you gotta buy you know maybe two pairs of pants or. A, a shirt and Definitely. whatever or, or a pair of shoes can y'all buy me a shirt listen the code is only working until 9 p.m run it up man run that shit up this is only for the live viewers if you ain't oh you're about to get it <laughs> so you're ordering it right now <laughs> you had to hop on i will say though the thermal is already sold out the uh black the, the motel the motel t is already sold out we got mad shoes we only got a couple pairs of the pants left you feel me? So thank y'all, man. Thank y'all for supporting. 
Thank you, yeah. all of you guys. None of y'all niggas reposted my shit. Maybe Tug did. Maybe Tug did. Maybe Tug did. Bro, I did maybe repost did. you. Maybe Tug did. No, I'm wow. just, bro, I'm just trolling you, bro. <laughs> chill, chill. Listen, listen. My phone's been tripping. Drag <laughs> too. No, look. Well, I would say, <laughs> if I could offer you some advice though, like right yes, off the bat, please, please, please. I've learned that I've been needing to talk to you about this. Yeah, I've learned that uh, you know, whenever you post uh, the out now post, that's gonna be doing the lowest numbers you can it ever is, ask for, it and the least comments. So what you gotta do is just create new content that day with the caption out now. People get so stuck on providing the product shot when it's like, bro, that's already gonna be on the website. Let them click that. Let them get that experience through there. But it it, it feels like a sale. It feels like someone's selling you some shit when it's on a on a white backdrop. Damn, yeah, bro. I felt that. Yeah. There's some bro, there's some situations where like damn this product shot's art like it's not just a mock up shirt it's like you know as bro, texture as you know like you know some shoes you can promote like that but like you know what's crazy I really the, don't ever post the line sheet again I don't ever post line sheets yeah I don't care if I'm dropping six items like you gotta scroll through this bitch because line sheets bro mm. no one bro you, what you just in there zooming in yeah I know, you know what you're I'm saying right, you're looking huh? crazy at your house <laughs> doing that bro you're right, taking bro. screenshots zooming you know into that one hey I'm not gonna lie you know what's crazy <laughs> that I, is funny I man. literally was gonna like have this combo with you I'm like bro I don't like my posts keep flopping I don't know what to do like it's only getting like you also but not, not all of them though it's like when I bro when I post it in the hand yeah in the hand three four thousand likes yeah two, two three thousand comments yeah because like Lazi said it's like more relatable it's not doesn't oh, feel like a, but why am I wasting this time doing this whole photo shoot and all this shit I don't do you don't see me do photo shoots god damn bro you know, but I I feel like that's I feel I like learning process. But bro. listen, but listen, I be feeling like it's disrespectful for me to just post a pic in Says the hand who? and then just drop it. When when a supporter ever tell you that? Nobody ever told me that. This is my head. This is my brain. Yeah, bro, listen, man, you just I'm got, trying to do shit some old got, fashioned you, you way. You gotta keep that shit kiss. Keep okay. it simple, stupid. Okay. All right. I was like, Keep it I was simple. Like, where, sourcing on the way, man. Damn. We got we got the new like, company. Where is that damn, gonna go? Bro. Keep no, it kiss me, bitch, bro. Did you kiss. make that up or you got that from? Yeah, somebody? my art teacher used to tell me that in in high school. Oh, he we got to piss me off, bro. Nah. I used to hate this fool. Listen, bro. In Paramount <laughs> nah, High School, I don't want to burn him out because y'all probably fucking egg his car. But listen, y'all probably still go to school with him right now. But he, he was an asshole. It's, it's the older dude who does uh, soccer, and uh, Why he, he's not your early dog. Yeah, you don't have to dox him. Just say I'm making it easy. Listen and. And this fool used to always brag about his son doing these weak ass movie covers, and he always used to always look at my paintings and just laugh. That gonna be in it. Like he used to just talk shit, bro. And then uh, um, I was just over that shit, bro. And I, I'll, I'll never forget. I'm just, I don't know why I'm why I'm even shouting out. But fuck that fool. Uh, but he used to tell me, uh, kiss, keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. Keep it simple. Stupid. I've heard that term before yeah. somewhere. But well. I'm not gonna lie, there ain't nobody, hey, no grown man should be telling no high school niggas kiss like. That's, yeah, and then saying stupid. Yeah, Come on, that's, that's disrespectful. Yeah, okay, I, I get what you're saying, but I'm not gonna lie. That stuck with you your whole life. Like well, you're still yeah. repeating it in 2024. I, yeah, it definitely does. If someone calls you stupid. You can remember that. <laughs> you know, he, but, he roasted you so hard. You're still thinking yeah. about it to this day. He yeah, literally got know. he got like visibly upset. <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, yeah, we're, we have a new company coming out in the next few months called Keep It Simple Sourcing kiss wow you re-rock okay now yeah. now he's about to come at you next yeah like, exactly like yeah. a wrestler nigga <laughs> you fucking oh, yeah. re-rock this shit that nigga's finna be right in your oh, dms god like <laughs> you gonna be like bro really really yeah. really you piece damn of shit? i thought you had to do algebra dick are you gonna <laughs> are, are you gonna do like the kiss are you gonna do like the kiss logo like as the thing well Got you. i've been i've been with my team your, uh, and they down. keep saying like oh you need a logo i'm uh, like phone. bro when have you ever when have you ever looked at your printer's logo like oh that's hard man you just hit them yeah. up for your service bro so I'm, i might just keep it text i'm not trying to get no bust down chains and put it on my car and shit like it's just a this is just a private business oh, yeah that's going out to the public i'm know? not gonna lie bro you all of these like blazzy's tacos and blazzy jewelry and all that shit you should eventually make all well, these what like, i want to do pop-ups. for sure the next thing the next business like once i have enough money that's like okay i don't need to invest in anything personal anymore i want to start an income income tax service because that's something that a lot of creatives don't understand and i'm yeah. saying they definitely don't teach you in school this and the government's out there to fuck you sounds like yeah. a scam dude no it's not a scam <laughs> i'm joking you got hella i know I hella my next business i want to start a call center <laughs> 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 nah, bro. Man, y'all laughing at the homie. Y'all laughing at we the homie. You, until, until you, until no. you become H and R Blazy. No, it got me hot because my tax H&R guy does Yuri shit. Yeah, you know shit, what I'm no, saying. Shout out to and I brought him around, so it's like, bro, my tax guy is very hard to come by because he's not gonna help no one on the internet making money. And you think your mom's tax guy is gonna help y'all? No, yeah. you feel me? Like you that's need, you need like professional. He's a, he's a, t- uh, a clutch tax guy, and I linked yeah. him with the Ricky Glazer as well. He does Ricky Glazer's taxes now as well. Yeah, so so I told him like, bro. look, bro, like whenever you're down to do. <laughs> nothing personal income tax 
service, let me know, but you're gonna be jam packed. You need to hire more people. Cause Damn. right off, like my, my sister does taxes. I got George, I got everybody does taxes with him. You know what I mean? I found him through an industry connect. This was just local. He's our age. He understands what's he going on. He watches reconnect it too. Man, shout out to man. Ivan, man. That's my That's job. Shout out to Ivan. Hey, shout Ivan, tap in with me, bro. I need to get my shit in line too. Yeah, I'm paying, I'm, I'm filing taxes on Sunday, bro. I'm, I'm not excited for that shit. But you that, got that, a bunch of receipts or but you got the bus up in the Rizal? Yeah, bro, listen, this ain't 1994. Like, we yeah. don't got to do that no more. Yeah, that's what I was And that's what's something that our parents yeah. convinced us. Like, oh, no, you yeah, got to have a shoe box full of receipts and like man who's doing that bro i'm, I'm buying shit for cash i'm selling yeah. designs you know what i mean like no one thousand well, so, on, so my, if you're using cash more than your card you kind of have to keep receipts you know what no, i mean yeah. there's no transaction no, of it no but and it, i prefer using cash well you, you still I'm got, you still got cash. spending cash you still got to pull it out though so you, you you'll have some bank receipts online for but like that's that, that just the money. I, use, I use cash too yeah, i never no. use cash i use cash to like buy weed and shit like that i don't use it to like buy production i'll accept cash and then use my i'm on i'm on only use cash mode at this point because it's like don't don't bro what cash do you don't cash is That's, king cash is king don't be wasting that shit on like uh, on like tax refunds do stuff that like they're not gonna like th that's undocumented money bro yeah, Trust I prefer me. using cash. Trust nah, bro, you're it's way better. It makes your life simpler. No, Can don't. I see that later over there? Yeah. Please? Now you got. So you go to like the ATM physically and take I out money cash, for like the bro. week. I do that. I go to the ATM probably like every day. I hate oh, cash. Hell no. Nah. You go to the ATM every day. Damn near. Nigga, hell get nah. with the times, dude. You're gonna, gonna have a, you're gonna have a pocket full of quarters. And nickels and shit, bro. I don't be withdrawing quarters, bro. No, but you're paying for everything in yeah. cash. Some things be sixteen forty eight. Yeah, and I, I I collect the change. That's what I'm saying, bro. You're gonna you're gonna be walking. You gotta around. put it in my bank, Bob. <laughs> you're gonna be walking around like w. a uh, like a washing machine. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't be doing that. <laughs> no, I dude, I know. I, I disagree with you there. I, I prefer using cash and keeping change. But why though? It's cash is king. No, that makes it life easier, bro. You're supposed to use that bitch and just hold on to it, <laughs> bro. Yeah, I I agree. I I save cash as well. You know what I mean? Like when I save money, like I save. Go buy weed with that, man. <laughs> Bruh, I disagree. Hey, yo, um, random topic here. Token and I kind of, you know, gave our opinions on stream already, but we'll talk about it as well. Yeah. But we haven't really heard Blaz your house one talk about this. What do you guys think about Lush returning on the pod? Whoa, 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 whoa! Listen, listen. Okay, all right, Le all right. Now I'm not gonna. You want to say first or? Yeah, yeah. Let me let, <laughs> let me go first. Let me go first. All right. Because I've really been paying attention to this. Now, mind you, I even when we were on No Jumper. I wasn't just at home just consuming all the fucking no jumper content. You feel me? Yeah. Like I really wasn't consuming. We that had to much. fill you in on episodes and shit. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. bro, for mm -hmm. real. And it was just cause like it's like too close to home. Like I I, I don't go home and watch our fucking show over all the way to the end. Like yeah. I just don't do it because I'm there. I'm doing it with y'all. I do. It's different. You feel me? Uh, I have to clip it. Know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. But what what I'm saying is like when when it's too close to home, sometimes I just don't even <laughs> you, you don't even watch. You feel me? So. Since we've been gone from No Jumper, I haven't really been paying attention to like most of the like headlining things that have been happening, Me which neither. hasn't been that um, hasn't been that many. The only thing I've been paying attention to is the Lush Almighty saga. Yeah, yeah, but like that's been going on though. So exactly. like that's the only thing. So look, so so my whole thing was like, now I just wake up one morning and see all the clips because I'm still subscribed to them. Mm -hmm. So I see all the clips of Lush sitting at the table, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. But then. As I'm watching and I'm I'm hearing people like say stuff, I go back and I see the original thumbnail, and the thumbnail looked like it was like a cut out of AD. Yeah. So I think purpose. they did a bait and switch, they did. trying to make it seem like AD was coming back because of the situation with AD in San Diego. So. But they yeah. brought fucking Lush back, yes. right? So I'm just like, for, first I'm confused on how this even got to that point because out of everybody, out of all of us that left. They were the main ones going at each other. The That's craziest what I said. was motherfucking Lush and Adam. Yeah, yeah. like this nigga, <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> Adam, Adam, uh, remember Adam literally lied on Lush and he said that Lush uh, stole from his boss and got fired from his new job. Bro, and his, these niggas and his are boss, going. And his boss in came on each out other. and said, "No, that's yeah, false like, information." He was, you feel me? Lush was. Going it wasn't even in his, his boss. Whole, Lush was going in on his family too and shit. Bro, and then like was, they was going, they was going both back and forth. They that's both like, was crossing the lines. Crazy. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And now, and now, like let's just be honest. Like Adam is just a habitual line crosser in general, but just the fact that like. They was just going so in on each other, and then I'm just sitting here, and, and, and I'm gonna be honest. I watched, I didn't watch the whole episode, but I watched the the majority of the beginning to the point where they like left 
to go fight and came back or whatever. So yeah. I watched I watched pretty much the whole thing. For real? Yeah, yeah. I, I pretty much watched I the whole, whole thing. thing. I got into like five minutes. People kept telling me, man, turn that shit off. <laughs> yeah. But look, <laughs> I'm just saying, I was like, man, I'm just, man, I'm fuck just this shit then. if I'm being completely honest, their energy was just off. It was weird. It was like, Adam was like kind of being like weirdish, like being kind of a dick to him. And then it kind of was like Lush was kind of like Lush was kind of glazing a little bit Just a little I'm just being honest yeah. Just a tiny little bit Like he was just like It seemed like he was too eager Or too like Happy to be back And yeah. is that the wrong with, with, with being happy to be back If that's what you want to do Do you Lush But yeah. I'm just saying like It kind of seemed like Adam was using it for a moment And it seemed like Lush was just super excited to be back yeah. And I don't think it really meant That you were back Exactly. I think he just was trying to use you for a moment. Had Almighty call in, right, and all that other shit. Like to be fair, um, L I'm not sure if you saw, but Lush instigated that situation with Almighty because he literally just they were talking. He about popped him. up out of nowhere. He, he, he was talking about Almighty, and then yeah. he said he has paperwork, and then everyone at the table You're, like paused, like paperwork. Bro, like what listen, do you mean? Before even that combo, you got to think about. But he seemed like he was. Either a little tipsy. He was popping it. He was popping. No, but then he was popping it, but then bringing it back down at the same time. Yeah, it was but like, yeah. He, it's he, like you can't do like you can't like. Yeah. You can't be like, oh, like I don't want to take it there, but it's whatever. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's whatever, but we don't got to do that. I don't want to fight, but I'll fight. Like I respect him for going outside and you feel me. He definitely just, went outside. He yeah. got up and went outside. He took I definitely respect him for that. He's but, definitely ready to squabble. Listen, this is my whole thing. Is like, can I, can I say my whole thing? Yeah, we don't hear. Y'all want to hear? Go ahead. Uh, I really didn't give a fuck. I'll be honest with y'all. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, one thing about uh, me and Lush, we were never really like, you know, we talked every now and then, but like, yeah. I never seen no loyalty. You know what I mean? He's never, he's never, he don't come to my birthday party. You know what I yeah, mean? Like, yeah. he's the one that like valued me. Like, all due respect to him, you know, yeah. I'm gonna like his story. I'm gonna watch his shit. Like, I'm gonna like his story. You know crazy. what I'm saying? I'm gonna be tapped in, but it's like, he's never been someone that like, like, oh, how could you? You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, um, you know, fuck, what point did I want to prove? You said you didn't give a fuck about oh, the Oh, you know, situation. for someone like Lush, you know what I'm saying? Like, he had, he was in an interesting position as far as, like, all the people who kind of, like, left no jumper around that time. Because yeah. it's like, you know, we we were all clicked up, right? We're all unionized. We got uh, we got the reconnected. You know, you got Fig Unity World. And kind of Lush was just left in, like, an awkward position. It because it's him, like, yeah, Flocka yeah. was like, nah, I'm staying all my life. I'm staying. Yeah. And Gina kind of faded out. And it kind of left Lush where it's like. No, no Gina's doing her no, thing. Gina's shout, out, shout out to Whole Fashions. No, Whole Fashions she, crazy. she left. Yeah, she left. She, yeah, she, like, she wasn't fashions. trying to, like, you know, yeah. leech on or anything. Yeah. Latch on. I think um, she might have got fired, too. I think we, like, niggas yeah, got yeah, fired. Yeah, she got fired. Like, um, like, I think he fired the whole Trevor, Kelvin, Bossa Nova team, too. Yeah. But I think he was went back, though. Yeah, but I'm saying like like they was letting niggas go. Yeah, for sure. But, but the point I'm trying to say is like you know we we and 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 AD and them are the only ones that left. I think everybody else got fired after. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think I don't know. I don't know niggas intricate details, but I know Lush I was got the first one to quit. We kind of quit all together though. I, quit on your I own texted before. Adam the, the night of the Thursday show. I'm like, hey, I'm not going to be we, doing this no more. We already had talked about it in the group chat. We were just like, yeah. right. no, but on the first one, tell Adam, like, hey, bro, I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. yeah, we discussed it. I mean, this, this probably was on all of our heads for, for months yeah, at that we, point, you know? We had years. Yeah, 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 we, yeah, we but, discussed this for like two weeks prior. Like, but, but here's the thing, though. It's like, uh, um, you know, yeah, I don't see no loyalty, and yeah, he was just dislocated. So I don't, I don't, I wouldn't put it past <laughs> them. He was dislocated. He didn't have no home. He you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not like it's like, oh, the Monday show. We we doing it on the Monday. I mean, channel. he had his own. He had his own shit. Mad deep, whatever. Man, no, I, no, he that, just, that's you ain't hard food, man. Yeah, shout that's him. That's him now. But shout out like, to my dog. You ain't hard. Yeah, food. shout out to you ain't hard food. But uh, uh, he's he was doing lush. Work. Shout out to my other boy lush too. Work, from, yeah. Shout out to my other Kenny nigga from Mad Deep. Kenny Mount. Thank you, bro. Shout out to my nigga God. And my that's a real Kenny. And the homie with the cornrows. Bro with the braided hair up and there. shout out to Rob. Shout out shout to, all to them. Rob. Is that the homie, the the big guy? Yeah, yeah. I fuck with him, man. I, fuck with you, I, I love watching his story because it's just him chilling, like driving trucks and shit. <laughs> just doing like he's he's driving OG shit. That's, no, that's Rick. Rick. That's Rick. Rick. Oh, Rick. Rick. Shout out I Big said, Rick. Did I, I say like, Rob? My yeah. bad. My bad. Shout out Rick. Big Rick. Shout out Rick. My bad. You guys said Rob. I was like, who the fuck is Rick? Rick. I'm high as shit. My bad, boy. And shout out to him. He pushed up to my pop up. He's like, what's this all about, man? He he was ready to go. He had his trucker might in case you know a load came in. Shout out to Rick, man. He's a hard working. Man, I but, listen, lie, but listen, but listen, but no look, 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 at the end of the day, bro. At the end of the day, niggas can niggas can say the same thing about me because I DJ that on some shit, shit. So like, whatever, bro. Like at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you was at no show though. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, 
I'm not back on camera with them. I wasn't like at the end of the day, I have a separate relationship with all the BMX niggas. Bro, Brandon Began was literally my best friend for years. Thanks. Whenever we was all in the no jumper world and I was staying at the crib and all that shit like that, bro, I'm hanging out with Began. Mm -hmm. Me and Began are the same age. We're going out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I'm, Con I'm a Connor. But, but everyone's oh, older and but shit. Can, yeah. but can I stop you for a second? Mm -hmm. Like, but it's it's like <clears throat> that's totally fine, right? Cause you weren't popping it. Like on you for you wasn't. Yeah, I also happened. wasn't on some yeah, like oh yeah, fuck. Fuck shit. I'm not like oh yeah, I fucked your wife. Fuck yeah, you, bitch yeah, ass nigga. All, like all I, I, I didn't say none of that. You all this crazy shit. He had I, a whole like you feel yeah. me? He was popping it. That's yeah. like me saying like oh you know I'm a uh, oh like you like no that's like you exactly. That's like you because you was going crazy on Josh. Yeah. That's like you trying to be like now I'm back on the news Josh. or some shit. No, that's like you put yeah, exactly. That's and like the news. Josh that's like posting Josh on his birthday like happy birthday like happy birthday biggest bro like nah. And I ain't gonna told you I I ain't gonna hold you. I fuck with Josh, bro. I fuck with Josh. You don't have, you don't have to even say nothing. Yeah. But I fuck with Josh on some shit when I was really going through it, and I was a nigga. I any other workplace would have fired me for sure. They don't give a fuck about what you're going through. Josh was like, bro, I understand. It's cool, blah blah. blah. I have nothing but the utmost respect for Josh. Josh? Shout out to him, bro. Nah, we be we you be feel me? Fuck yeah. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but look, I might look. like his story. He might like mine. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying that's we, what I'm saying. And shout out to my boy Jason was here like two weeks ago picking up an order. There you, know you go. There you go. I, I feel like Josh, like Josh and I have like kind of like a literally like a big bro little bro relationship where you we damn near almost fought, bro. Like at that office, you know what I mean? Like, well, you would have whooped Josh. Wait, 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 wait. He might have gave you a run for your money because that nigga really was. I didn't. There's a I thing didn't know old man strength. And no, and I didn't know he was really on his hockey shit like that. So I seen <laughs> the old pics of my the nigga, bro. Shit. He was swollen. He was playing hockey, bro. Stop playing bro. with him. Never. Nah, you would have squabble, bro. Nigga. <laughs> nah, listen, don't listen. My nigga had dreads, bro. Shout out to him, bro. bro he got alligator <laughs> arms. This nigga Yuri Long Arms. Nigga would have been <laughs> bing bow far away. Nigga, would have been. Hey, if he would have got up on you, he might have would have gave you some hands. But listen, but listen though. Look, look <laughs> across the desk. Huh. So look, this so fuck? this is my whole thing though. So it really did seem like one day out of nowhere, it seemed like Lush just started dissing Almighty, like on some new song that Almighty had just dropped. Now I understand the sentiment of why Almighty was mad. Almighty was mad because the song that he dropped was uh, named after his deceased uncle. Yeah, oh, and man. Lush knows. The family, uh, the family, yeah. clearly, and stuff like that, right? So and Lush, also that came out of nowhere. But Lush, Lush really did that random. Lush said though, I'm, 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 I'm gonna give both sides of the I story. I've never heard none of this. I'm shit. gonna give you both sides of the story. Lush said that he is aware of the uncle's name, that he knew the uncle, that he's cool with the uncle, and that he knew that that was the name of the song. But he said that he didn't know. He said that Almighty never mentioned the uncle in the song at all. Yeah. So he said it was no way for him to know that, which I also understand that too. Yeah. But it also really did seem like Lush was just coming at Almighty out of nowhere to kind of get some shit stirred up. Yeah. yeah exactly. Then, but realistically, like Almighty the, took it to the next the level. Whole timeline, because it was, the whole timeline, like I don't know how long ago, maybe like half a year ago, it yeah. originally did start off when uh, when Lush still worked at No Jumper. Yeah. It uh, did start off with Lush doing a freestyle, and Almighty start burst into laughter, and he was laughing his ass off, and he just couldn't stop laughing. And then Lush was like, "You know well, what are you laughing at?" And Almighty was just <laughs> like, "You suck at rapping." <laughs> and that kind of how like you know that that whole and it's, it's that's just how never it ended. Yeah, exactly. and it just never ended, man. And then Lush kind of reignited the situation by like you know talking shit on that music video out of nowhere. But it, like, literally the whole thing, the whole saga did kind of start with Almighty, yeah. but all but it it stopped, and then and then. Lush just brought it back for no reason. Well, look, this is th th this was one part that like I needed to comment on though specifically because they kept talking about how niggas was in the group chat talking about that they were better rappers and everybody at the office, whatever. Bro, niggas was literally doing that though. Like, bro, everybody that at that time, like, bro, me, AD, fucking Almighty, Duno, probably. Duno, nigga, we all have put out, we all, even Blasi I'm put out music. I'm like, nah. Even Blasi put out music, bro. So like, yes, Sharp obviously, shit. bro, we're all gonna feel like, oh yeah, my shit was, nah, like, rail come on. Bro, that's what I'm saying. We're all gonna feel like, oh yeah, my shit was, pop, my, no, nah, nigga, what? I had this many views, or yeah. I did this, or I did that. So like, we all were gonna do that, right? So I guess Almighty was saying, Almighty was basically saying that he he allowed Lush to be whack over all these years, <laughs> and that he had never had nothing to say about it because of his, you know, respect for his father and their relationship. So maybe he, Lush, after many many years of knowing him, because he's known Almighty since he was a kid, yeah. Yeah. maybe after a long time of seeing like what he perceived as like a too high of an ego, 
at a certain point, if your homie just keeps popping it after 20 years, you're going to be like, bruh. Come well, on, you're not that Almighty. Good. You don't even like, Almighty basically, but, uh, Almighty, Almighty basically said that he has been felt this way about Lush's rapping, and that he just never felt the need to say anything because <laughs> Lush. He said because Lush was quiet and whack. He said the moment that you start popping it and acting like you're a better rapper than everybody and all this other shit. Yeah. Then he got to say something basically, and like rap is so subjective though, bro. Mu- yeah, music, it, music is subjective. You know what I mean? Like people yeah. will listen to AK Bandama and be like, the "What fuck? the fuck is exactly? This? Right. What is this uh, garbage?" And then like other people being like, "Bro, this is fucking like really yeah, good exactly. music." Yeah. I mean, bro, there's people that fucking tell me that my shit sucks every day, mm-hmm. and that's to never drop music again, yeah. and to only drop clothes or podcasts, or whatever. There's niggas that are like, but then there's other niggas that are like, "Bro, what the fuck? Like, drop some new shit, bitch. We fucking love this exactly. shit." So it's like it, it's really all subjective. Bro. And also, it's yeah. like, bro, I think it's cool to have an art that you work on in your life. You know what I mean? Like, we all, yeah. like, who knows how long any of us live out here, but I think it's cool to find something that you actually genuinely enjoy, <clears throat> and you do it. You know what I mean? Like, in my mind, it's like, once it hits, like, 11, 30, 12 p.m., most people might be going to bed, maybe playing video games or whatever it is. I think it's cool to be that dude who's up at midnight fucking, you know, producing. 12 a.m. You know, uh, 12 a.m., sorry. Like, you know, at midnight, like, producing beats or whatever it is, like, working yeah. on their craft yeah. Yeah. while everyone everyone else is sleeping and shit. No, nah, that's a fact, bro. And, like, so, look, so that shit's subjective. That shit really don't matter. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's, like, I see why Almighty took it to the, the level of being offended and, like, whatever because of the shit, like... Because of the simple fact that you know my, like, that's like, bro, that's like, I put out a song named after my mom, and then somebody that I know got something to say about it. Yeah. I would feel some type of way, too. I'm a, and I'm also, too, be real, too. I'm a, I would feel some type I'm a, of way. I'm going to be real, like, you feel me? Like, all right, if they would have fought, cool, whatever. But at this point, I think the fighting shit should be over with, bro. Like, let that shit go. Who do you, oh, no, well, listen, but listen, listen. Lush, see, but like, this is what I'm saying, though. Lush be putting himself in these pecu- peculiar situations because they're going back and forth on the phone and like you know i feel like lush feels like somebody's getting the upper hand on him mm-hmm. so then he goes to the whole well like i'm not the one with uh paperwork it's you yeah. and then immediately backtracks and, and he, he literally that? and he literally he says, immediately oh, backtracks. Almighty asks him like why'd you say that and he said bro he's like you talked so much shit on me that i wanted to say something about you he literally just said he made it up basically bro, you know like what I mean? that's insane yeah that's crazy you can't man. like yeah that's like some serious shit that's like that's like you just like arguing with a nigga and be like oh yeah you fucking child molester yeah. like you can't just put somebody yeah exactly. you can't put something like that on somebody without just like i mean it's obviously those two things aren't the same i was just giving an example of like you can't just put wild allegations on people with no type of backing, mm-hmm. just because you're angry. That's low key some shit that bitches do. I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, Brad. Do you girls know, not do that? Like, Lush, do some girls Lush, not do that? Lush, we fuck with you, bro, but it's I, over with, man. Like, that's, what's over with? Like, <laughs> it's over with, man. Like, yo, Toke was on stream, like, he could never come here. What do you guys think about that? I, you you bro, agree or disagree with Toke's sentiment? I don't, I don't really care. Yeah, I'm not, like, I'm not, not banning. I'm gonna put it like this. It's not bro. that deep. I'm, I'm put not it like this, man. I'm not, ba- I'm not banning I, Lush I, from here. I just don't want to be around somebody that can go around talking about somebody's family one day and they'd be sitting in that man's face smiling like ha 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 and, and kind of glazing and glazing like and bro i don't want that around the thing is it's me. like we're not I'm like sorry. we're not really kicking it with him off camera you know if, if i never I fuck I, with lush i never though. hung out with lush yeah, like but then that's, at, that's at applebee's of, that, that would be faking me if I'm like oh, on camera it's cool but like yeah. you know off camera i don't want to be around you well, look. oh i mean that happens all the time well i'm not gonna you know, be like, fake i'm not gonna be fake and act like i don't like fuck with lush or that like but i've 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 literally had to call lush sometimes trying to fucking get some advice on like sobriety and like yeah. bro how did you do it how'd you go this long and shit like that i've had these type of combos with lush to to the point to where when i went to go do that live stream with them and lush was like all on mushrooms and shit like like i bro i went and pulled up because he's like he's like about to go live on shrooms on like youtube yeah and i'm just like bro like yeah i literally like i know that you came a long way exactly. bro and i know that you've been doing this shit for years bro we all and met him when he was bro, like bro, three years into sobriety bro, and i was one of the first person disappointed when he started so listen that's thing. what i'm saying so like and like yeah it might not be the same kind of drugs it might not be the same shit nothing like that right but the thing is it's just like it's a slippery slope bro yeah. it's a slippery slope and i just don't think that 
after all these years of being sober that that's something that he should like try to aim for is to like oh like let me let me just dabble a little bit and dabble just, here and I there just think that and he was taking Zans I'll keep it 100 again. with you bro I just feel like it's difficult for some I'm sorry for defending let's just hold no, on go ahead, go ahead. I feel like it's difficult you know whenever you're a recovering drug addict on that level you know what I mean yeah. it's a lot of pressure on your shoulders not what to does? let every single body in your life down, down yeah. you know what I mean so whenever you crack it's like Man, you just gotta let him live his truth. The truth, the truth is, there's crackheads out here that are 80 years old on the street. You know what I mean? I, like, I know. There's not. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it from a personal like, bro. I'm going through my own struggles with this shit, and you have literally been the someone there to help me through that because I look up to you exactly for being. It's kind of like, bro. Like you know it, when, when, when you were like yeah. experiencing like the <clears throat> the stuff going on with your leg, and you couldn't really walk that oh, well. Yeah. If you were. Uh, going on stream with the title like you know streaming until I finish this handle you I'd be like I'd you would also be, be like bro come on bro, and, like, I, and I can't even fucking walk that would exactly. be crazy bro yeah, like, yeah but, but I think it's also too like uh, you feel me I think I just wish Lush would have like talk to somebody before he like even like made that decision to even like but, but yeah you know i don't I mean? think he i don't think he owes us owes anybody yeah, no 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 he doesn't anything. but you feel me but he just like yo just talk to somebody with like a level head like yo bro i was thinking it's just the best decision if for he your career. Asked, if he called me he was like blasey um dude love the show i'm trying to think about like going back to no jumper what do you think i'll be like bro i don't care yeah you know what i'm saying that, that is i'm doing my own shit lush i love you but it's like you know, I, I we're, we didn't come up together. You know what I mean? Like I felt that. you you do your own thing. I, give, I know. I, it's just like it's nothing personal. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, don't, <laughs> I mean, I like not that. even on some corny shit is really not like. Yeah. That's why when I woke up and I seen this nigga, like, nah, he can never come. Da da da. I'm like, I was going to. It's not that deep. When I bro. Mean, you like, don't even I, come out. I, I haven't seen yeah, him in two I just, years. I just don't respect that when you like. If you, cause nigga, I got a family. Nigga, I have a daughter. Nigga, if you dissing somebody, family and daughter, All right, you're so, not gonna be sitting in my face. So, that's not it. Honest how, question. I don't know. I just you can't just answer it. right away. Honest question. Okay, what? I, when I saw Lush went on there, I know Adam didn't, but I was thinking Lush probably got paid a bag to go on there, right? Honest question. I don't know. I don't think no, it, no, 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 he didn't get paid. I, like, at all. like I said, that's what I was thinking. Probably not. Adam's but not but the no only money. way I would have been in Lush's shoes is would have is if I would have got like a bag. I won't say the number of the bag because that's my question here. If Josh were to hit you up. And he said, like, let's do a news stream together Man, about doing, sports. Look at discount how, promo how much, on that bitch. How much, how much would he have to pay you to do one episode, like a two hour stream together? You two. He would probably. Realistic number. Come on, like, real. I'm not gonna lie, Josh. You would have to suck my dick, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, okay, look, look, look. that's gay. I think. All right, Meek Mill. I don't even think I would do it. It's just like I'm not trying to. I'm not. That's the reason I was. A, I was just dipped in things. I'm not trying to put my life with like drama. I don't really care about that. Yeah. shit. I would take ten thousand. This is. I have a this full time job, bro. This is probably the first time we've ever. <laughs> yeah, you heard him. Ten thousand dollars. This, look, look, look. this it, is the first time we ever had an in depth conversation about anything no jumper related since we left. Yeah, yeah. and it has to do with facts. Lush. And, it and it's kind of like, because like you said, like I really haven't been paying attention at all. The only times I pay attention is, um, actually, no, that was already when Lush was still working there, but uh, it was just the, the almighty Lush drama. It's just kind of funny. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The you only, know, that's the only saga I've been keeping up with. I'm not going to lie. Fucking uh, the, the, the report card nigga and... Uh, and fucking Lush oh, no, yeah, going at it too. Go. Oh, that was funny. That was hilarious funny. too. The Lush I'm not gonna it. lie, Lush was sauteing that nigga down. <laughs> that, he was do, like doing the mock of his voice. That was the funniest and shit. And then I they ever made seen. they made a meth to give to him or some shit. That was funny that too. Was I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see that. I just seen like a picture of that. I didn't even see like. Yeah, but look, but look, like. It's funny because both of their jokes are eventually gonna get old if you just keep running the meth joke and then Lush keeps running the your fat joke. It's like, yeah. okay, like. It's not just your, he, he talks like this. Bro. <laughs> oh, okay. he got, you know he's gonna cover you now. <laughs> Bro, Lush was fucking, Lush seasoned, sauteed, baked, pulled out and served that nigga with that with the impression of his voice that was fucking nah, jokes. Funny, but listen man. listen one last no jumper thing that i have to say and we'll, we can get off no jumper that's, that's neither here nor there yeah no, i just bro. love that saying i don't nah, I that's a with that but, but look, look, look i got i, I got, love that saying that's I a do, new one now that is a new one but i got one last one though so i po okay first of all if you are in the austin texas area 
this store called Private Stock Austin will be carrying the new black and white skate rollers. Shout out to Private Stock, man. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Private Stock. Shout out to Donnie over there, Shout man. Shout out to Donnie at Private Stock, man. Donnie so used look. to commission me when shit was like 150 a graphic. Bro, Shout listen, out to my I, dog, fuck, man. I fuck with Donnie. Shout out to Private Stock. Go follow Hyde Park, man. Listen, go follow Private Stock, uh, 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 Private Stock Texas on Instagram. But yeah, so I post like like the, All right. He uh he like he's gonna have some of our stuff in stores. I'm trying to like kind of reach out and start putting our stuff in sele in select stores. That's dope. So I posted on Instagram. I posted on Instagram. Any stores that are down to like have high rollers, DM me or DM the the mm -hmm. personal page. By the way, that still stands. Hit me up. Yeah. I go on Instagram. Remo DMs me and he's like, "Oh, do you want to do a meet and greet? <laughs> do you want to do a meet and greet at the No Jumper store?" <laughs> Did you see who else uh, Remo brought? To I just said, he brought uh, FBG I Dutta. Said, I just said, "LOL, oh, hey, bro." <laughs> he's like trying to be like the middleman, I guess. Remo's no, super listen, cool. I fuck no, with Remo. No, listen, I actually That's do so fuck funny. with Remo. I fuck with Remo, but it's funny because, uh, like, he's funny too. Like, but, but like I, I put up on Sharp one time to bring Sharp some shoes and shit like that. And Remo was there. And it was funny because it's like, he clearly is like a guy that used to engage in No Jumper a lot before he was a part of it. So I, that was like our first time meeting and like Sharp's getting a haircut by Ezo and like, we just chopping it up. We cooling or whatever. It's like, bro, it's late at night. It's like two in the morning. Mm. This nigga Remo is giving me an interview in, in Sharp's hotel room, like asking me about like no jumper lore. Oh and my just, God. Sharp, I didn't even say nothing. Sharp told him like, hey man, listen, church, like we chilling. <laughs> you're listen, doing bro, too much. Listen, man, we chilling, we chilling, bro. We don't really ask each other questions like that and you're, shit. You got your impersonation. Like, oh, <laughs> I know, like what the fuck? If I close my eyes, I would think Sharp is here. You dig. Pause, pause. You dig. But wait, wait, speaking of Sharp. But yeah, look. <laughs> Speaking oh of sharp and pulling the beanie yeah, off with listen, her. listen, listen, church. Listen, listen, hey, listen here, bitch. I'll buy every single salty motherfucking fry in this bitch and not eat a single one. You dig? I don't give a fuck. But yeah, look. So hey, like, different. listen, I fuck with Remo. I'll put some pain where it ain't. I fuck. I fuck with Remo. <laughs> He cool, bro. Like I, I really don't got, I don't got no no jumper beef. I'll be watching some of the funny shit that be happening sometime. I'm not tripping off no jumper. That shit, that shit was at a point. It was great for me. Yeah. I just had to say, I, like all the shit that's going, on, all the gang shit, all that crazy shit, niggas oh, pulling man, up. That's, that's neither here nor up. there. That's neither here nor there. And listen, <laughs> I don't want to be a part of that. So <laughs> I'm over here. Most thing we got to worry about is some tweakers and nor stealing there. your Cadillac converter. You feel oh, me? God. Like we <laughs> chill. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we chilling. Bro. Yeah, man. Listen, like, bro. We ain't worried about. But that. I will not be doing a meet and greet, high rollers meet and greet on Melrose. That has now. been canceled, yeah, everybody. Definitely, definitely you just now. give them all the defected shoes yeah. that like fall hey, off hey, the baby, back of the truck. Hey, baby, ain't no defects over here. No, no way. Just calling them baby. It's crazy. Uh, oh, man, listen, okay. I know it's like I mean, he, that's like Diddy calling fucking Meek Mill daddy. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, listen, like that hair got you looking a little. Hey, yo. hey, bro. <laughs> yo, bro, bro, last night I FaceTime Blazzy. Wait, weren't you doing his makeup on stream too? No, no, not makeup. She put <laughs> mascara. I faded last night. That's makeup, makeup. Nigga. Bro, the fuck are you talking I, about? Bro, I, I FaceTime, bro, I FaceTime Blazzy <laughs> last makeup. night, right? Well, let's let's run it back to the last episode, of, like two episodes ago of Reconnect, where Blazzy said it's, it's pause to text the homie at night, right? I FaceTime. Right. Oh, you're on stream. I, I FaceTime <laughs> him to show. Night. I FaceTime him to show the hair, and Blazzy says, "Damn, you're looking kind of good." Also, come through right now. I'll Uber you. <laughs> yeah. Pause, and then he yeah. came in my, and then he went in my chat afterwards after the FaceTime call. He's he like, kept writing. Up. He kept writing edging, edging right now. <laughs> no, bro. Yes. Oh, oh, that's what that donation meant. Y'all, y'all made it. Sound that's crazy. what that was about. Y'all made it sound crazy. Listen, I said I'm on the edge. Nah, <laughs> can, nah exactly. Y'all yeah, talk too fast. Let me finish. <laughs> I say a comma, not a period. Okay, listen. I said I'm on the edge. The chat starts saying, Blazzy's edging, Blazzy's edging. I'm like, I'm edging. I'm edging now. And then, then y'all- Why are you edging to the bro? Because I'm on the edge and y'all just made me uncomfortable, so. <laughs> is it the hair? Nah. <laughs> Nah, well, something I don't know. This, this is making me uncomfortable. But you know what? Speaking of being comfortable, let me see y'all fits. What y'all comfortable in today? What y'all? Oh come? God, because how y'all coming today? Honestly, y'all, I'm gonna have to dip out in like six minutes. Okay, do your fit oh, check and then, yeah, and then go. Fuck. I got something to uh, to knock out. Well, do your fit check and then go. Okay. I'm I'm going with Blazzy too, guys. Okay, both y'all do y'all fit checks and then go. And don't interrupt our show, all right? Yeah. Hey, do we got any, anybody else that's down to pull up? Uh, Ryder. Tell Ryder, Ryder to pull up. Scared, I'm about to go right. get Ryder. Hold on. Right, wait. Your picture. Your picture. Judy. We got Ryder probably another designer in there. I got you. I got you. You want to bring Jose, the homie that illustrates? I got you. 
<laughs> for sure. So, man, I got uh, today I got some off whites, man. Shout out to Kazumi. She actually bought me these. Yeah, yeah. shout out to the homegirl. You Those know what are the blue ones. I got some Fugazi uh, pants, bro. These are fucking dope. Yeah, like, those pants look sick. They're super sick, man. Shout out to my boy Trevor and Simon over there. Fugazi, good peoples. And I got the new Nothing Personal Blessing shirt, man. We got a little bit of flavor in, in the shirt. You know what I'm saying? So That's got dope, some, yeah. Got some Hispanic Jesus and some black Jesuses all throughout it. But people were making fun of me. They're like, oh, this is fucking Drake. <laughs> oh, said, I think they, oh, it does. It does look like Drake, though. this is Kobe Bryant. Let me see. <laughs> No. Oh my god. <laughs> they said this is the comedian conceited. Hey, they said, you they up. said this is Steve Aoki. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Yeah, man. But uh we're gonna actually leave these shirts on um for a long time on the site. We we haven't sold out, we're probably gonna put it back next week. But um dope ass shirt, man. Yeah, we got that's the, fire. Got the hit on the back, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with it. And yeah, man, I got a uh, MP belt, you feel me? And yeah. that, that's what we do for the day. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's always pausing someone shows off their belt. Hey, that's actually a good design idea. You know how you know how uh, the Beatles or some artists back in the day got canceled for saying they're the next god or they're b- bigger than God. Yeah. They got canceled and shit. Yeah. Uh, and there's like you know uh, Kanye has said it. Like I, I forgot who it was. I mean I think Beatles they're burning the Beatles albums by by bulk yeah, in the uh, '60s for that. Dude, what if you made a, a shirt design of all the artists who have claimed they're God or bigger than God? I like but that. But like that, you know what I mean? I like that. <laughs> that would be a funny idea. Honestly, that's a good ass idea. That'd be a nice a, painting. Because it's not out of pocket. That'd be a nice painting. Yeah, right? All right. Honestly, um, it'll just be a nice painting if it was just people you, you yeah, think are God. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That, oh, that, that's the God. You know what I mean? I bro. got 15 gods. This is how I'm going to disperse it. All right, go for it. God, yeah. sure. Um, I like that, man. I got the Riley. It's Riley G hairdo. She fucking strained my hair. Hair by Riley? Hair by Riley. <laughs> Isn't that called like laced? I got something like that, I like got the hair. By Riley. Wait, that sounds crazy. I you got look like a rollerblader. <laughs> <I swear. laughs> um, the beanie, I forgot, guys. Uh, please ta- tag me, bro. I don't remember the brand. I got it a long time ago, and it has no branding on it. But uh, please tag me so I can repost and remember. Uh, jacket is a fugitive, fugitive jacket. Uh, fugitive. Oh, yo, this shirt is fire, bro. Let me see what it says. Look at this. Okay, can you leave so I can bring Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm doing my drip check. Fuck a bro. sad. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. We gonna see y'all. Uh, fuck a sad story. Grind harder. That's how. Fuck a sad story. Grind harder. Hard. Look, look, look grind at this. Grind hard. Is that grind by Grind Hardy? He needs that shirt. All right. Trap a Trap a Tui. Trap a Tui is crazy. Right, they they ruined the back. I'm not gonna cap. Bro, that shit's fire. Not. Nah, um, that's just kind of hard. I ain't we got the filthy couture Los Angeles pants. Filthy couture pants. Um. Some liquor store socks and then some vans. Let's go from Riley's mom. W- shout out Riley's Yo, mom. Shout out to the Reconnect the gang. I'm going with Blazzy and also I'm gonna be going live on Kick as well tonight, guys, <laughs> during this event. So let's go. Kick.com slash Harmonious Siri. Also, everybody go tap in. Lighter cases available and newer avail- uh, ones available. You can. Can I have one. this one? Yeah. All right. Hell yeah. That's a new one. Hell uh, yeah. Right. Hell yeah, brother. Let's go. Hell yeah, all right, I'll see you guys. All right, you guys drive safe, man. Thank you. Man. Suck it easy. Hair has got me. He kind of looks like you. All right, listen, man, we got my boy, man, Ryder, Ryder in the building. building. Hey, Ryder, so, let's get a drip check. Why you just? Yeah, um, facts, real quick. Um, I'm wearing a Subi denim jacket. I'm okay. A, um, some random Levi's. Uh, the boots I wear every day. Um, that thermal is fire. Never mind, homies brand. Um, that shit's hard. Never mind, chain on. Yeah. Uh, never, never mind chain. down. Let you tell it. Yeah. And then um, what kind of hat is that? Shit. This is George George Oliver's old brand. Uh, fucking. It's like um. Favorite mistake? Di- no. Digital Before that? Love? Yeah, he had some other shit, like some random shit. Called? Digital Love. Actually, oh, I, th- yeah. I think it was his old brand. I think it was just George hey, Oliver. George been put. Oh, he did have George yeah. Oliver. But I want to say he had like hear. another brand. George. I might just be tripping. Be, George be dropping brands like niggas be changing their drawers. There's no back support on this thing. I, this yeah, I, I never reclined. sat in that one before. I feel like Yuri just sits in that one. Or you can sit in that one. Wait, yeah. So you about to? Okay, I'm just confused. I'm high. Anyway, let's go to the topics. Fuck it. Let's go okay, to the topics. What are we talking about? We, we oh. Got our drip checks, oh yeah. Okay. We All right. Oh, I got on some. Uh, you feel me? Some Royal uh, Air Force Ones, General Mission cargo pants, uh, paraphernalia uh, hoodie. You feel me? And um, Florida Marlins fitted, man. Oh yeah, that one's crazy. Where'd you get this like multicolor one from? Nigga in fucking the UK. Where the nose? No, it's in France. They just had the random. 
Florida Marlins had in France? Yeah, they had a lids. They had a lids at this mall. Damn, they got lids in France. It's crazy. Yeah. France, like the country? Yeah. I think it's France. Like I don't know. My <laughs> bad. I was like, I don't know what the fuck is this. this is like some city in California. I don't nah, know. Yeah, yeah. Bro, this, this just copping nigga, fitteds in France. Nah, right, that, for that, sure. That nigga passport for show stamped What up, made right? you yeah. like in France was like, you know what I need right now? I need this Florida Marlins. What, I, or we, you just we, saw we just it. Went to a random mall. We just went to a random mall, me and my wife. And uh, <laughs> nigga, they had a lids. I'm like, oh, we going in here because I, you feel know me? French I mean? finish. I, I think I even sent this nigga a picture. I'm like, bro, look at this lid. That right crazy now. shit. Yeah, that's some nuts shit, bro. It was that like, was crazy. I ain't gonna hold you. That's some nuts shit. But it was it it was dumb expensive though. It's not like you feel me. It's not because you know like fitted. I mean fitteds are already pretty expensive, but they're like forty one. But you gotta 40, think about forty two dollars a hat. If you, yeah, you yeah, gotta think about if it. If you get there, some nice ones on the website, forty two dollars a hat. Yeah, if you get a nice one too, it's gonna be like sixty yeah, not, yeah, like, type shit. You feel me? But uh, out there they don't play baseball. So you know you are looking what, at like they don't care? They playing like a hundred? No, no, they playing like yeah, like eighty euros. So like I'm Oh, so it's like even more rare. Yeah, it's like a little close to a hundred. That's crazy. Just for a regular fitted, yeah. I've been looking at a lot of Japanese league teams. They have like super fire hats. You gotta tap in with the Negro yeah. Leagues. The Negro League has the Negro Leagues go crazy. Uh, the Atlanta Black Crackers. That's Ooh. what it's called. That was their team. <laughs> that that is was their fire. team. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. He's like, uh, he's like, he's, he's like, can I ask you something? Uh, like, how does my glasses look on me? <laughs> hey, you heard me tell. Yeah. He's like, can I ask you something I, serious, like off camera? He's like, how do I like, like? Do these glasses like do they look okay on me? Yeah. Like, I, I know he's trying, trying to get he's trying, trying to get compliments from the glasses, get, bro. He's fishing for compliments on the glasses still, bro. It's right, crazy. Let's but get look, to the look, peep, peep, peep. No, no, let me. Oh yeah, oh, my bad. I, I, well, I just damn, did, you damn. just did that to me. Damn, dang, hold on, hold on. Listen, Gang. shout out to I never heard of you before from New York. We got the everything's fucked Timberlands with the middle finger on the goddamn tongue. This is so hard, bro. Listen, listen. I haven't had a pair of Tim's since like high school, I feel like. So these bitches is hard as fuck. I've been wearing them literally every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. Like they just they just they just fit in my swag right now. Yeah, just big booted up. Just booted up. Bro. Booted up. You feel me? Booted up, not off the Tim's. Listen, then I got the custom what what what, what you about to say? You about to say something? Oh. Uh, oh no! Fuck her right in the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, then I got the custom. All right, uh, gang. All right, gang, go. I got the right, custom. Go. I got the custom Carhartt pan, uh, pan. Shout out to Duality Brand on Instagram. Me and the homegirl. Me and the homegirl made these on some custom shit. Like I had another pair. I had another pair of like light, uh, like light tan Carhartt pants. I cut the double knee part out, and then we sewed them on top of these. So we got the double knee, double knees. You feel me? The double knee, double knee Carhartt pants. Uh, I got the the twelve thirteen. I think it's a, a twelve thirteen Los Angeles yeah. on Instagram. Los Angeles. Los Angeles, nigga. Yeah, yeah. bro. We got we got the twelve thirteen zip up. You know what I'm saying? Chained by jeweler, jeweler, and we got the shout 17, out Junior jeweler. We got the seventeen thirteen uh, deja vu, fucking tree camo hat. You feel me? So yeah, W man, and now oh, yeah. the jeweler. I mean, I'm gonna need a spliff mode chain, or you feel me, or a spliff or a toque mode. chain, man, bro. We gotta. Which uh, like, what's what logo are you gonna use? Well, right, for spliff mode. All right, later, you. Guys. I thought you said all right, ladies. I said all right, later, you guys. But uh, what what logo would I use? I would probably yeah. use like. I'm gonna go uh, sit up there so I can read the actual thing because I can't even I can't read it from back here. Yeah, I'm, I'm all right. In a bitch. Look, so I'm gonna just go through the through the topic and then let's just go. Cause yeah. I, I ain't about to just sit here and just talk to this nigga. Wait, Susie Q just joined as a member and she wants to know, are those triple or quadruple knees? Shout out Susie Q. I'm not gonna hold you. Cause look, so I never knew this until I cut the, the double knee part out is that there's still a layer underneath. I mean, obviously they're called double yeah. knees, but like, so this, these are probably, it's like, are we counting all the legs? Or are we counting how many layers are on this one leg? Because it's technically a triple knee Because there's already a layer underneath Then it's the layer on top And then I added That's another layer yeah, So, so triple these knee. are triple knees, honestly Yeah. These are triple knees. knees or I'm going to call them the double double knees I got a pair of Carhartt pants I've never wore I just, just sitting in my fucking drawer I need to just like bust them bitches out I just, You got to like, bust them like, down my boy Bust them down I got the good, you know, good booted up Oh and shout out to uh, Lost Star on the socks too Shout out to my boy Sean Rare Hey look Sean Rare that's my nigga you gotta go over there, Ganger. Yeah. Oh my god, this scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh my god, this scared the shit. Oh my god. Oh my um, goodness. Yo, Beach. Yeah. Why is he just locking up? All right, let's get it. All right, man. Let's get into the topics, man. Listen, this is every shout time. Shout out, to Stay Grounded. Shout out to Stay Grounded TV, man. Make sure y'all follow the. Hey, 
Actually, y'all pull up. Hold on. Come here. Come here. Y'all pull up. <laughs> pull, pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Uh -huh. Yeah, just. First of all, hi. Hi. How are you? Here, look. Take a seat. Take a seat. Take a seat. Hi. How are you? All right. Um, these are my friends. Uh, Hello, guys. Hello and M. Yeah, yeah. Pull up. Pull up. Fuck it. We about to finish this off in like two seconds. All right. Um, y'all comparing them? What are y'all talking about? Okay, all right. listen. This is all the times. This is every time that the footwear industry has played every a single time. time. Face. This is a thread of different times that shoe brands have stolen from our boy. So we, we got the Yeezys and we got a pair of New Balances that look awfully similar. Whoa, hold on, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. This is a lot of different times, gang, what the fuck? So the craziest one that stands out to me is that Nike, like brands would do this thing where they'll collab with people. They will collab with people and then rip off the shoe it's happening after. Me. No, no, not with the shoe, but, yeah, no, but it like, happens. It happens to everybody. That's fucking insane. Um, I mean, like, this is something that's just, like, this is kind of trivial because we already know this. Like, I feel like it's like people realize contracts break, but it's like the money doesn't stop coming in. So it's like, how can we just go, yeah. go around it? <laughs> I mean, like, I get it, but this is just a topic that we all know. Like, we just already know. <laughs> this shit is funny. Shout out to Stay Grounded, though. Oh shit! Okay, I saw I'm, this. This is kind of crazy. This is a rotating mud art piece sold at an auction for eight point two million dollars. I'm not about to read all that, but that's absolutely yeah, insane. My question is: so you see, it has like a bucket of water right there. The whole thing is that it's mud. So someone bought it. Does that mean that it comes with someone like of the yearly yeah, salary like this, that dumps the water on it? Installation. I know that's what yeah, I'm saying, like, but does do someone does it, does it dry up, or is like does someone come and like throw water once a week? Like I also like. Like, can I just I'm, leave I'm it? Where, like, can I? Are you putting it in the crib? Like, can I leave it? it where it's at and just own it? I, why would? But that's stupid. Why? As fuck. <laughs> that's like leaving shoes at at the store. Yeah, that's like buying. Yeah, yeah. that's like buying some rare shoes yeah. and leaving them at the store. Like, yo, keep them. Eight point two million is crazy though. Yeah. Hey, hey, listen. And then for him to be like fucking they it, they really almost, felt that. Yeah, that nigga, that nigga was rubbing his dick against it. Yeah, like what's Stop. up with this nigga? <laughs> Stop. He rubbing his face against it is like. Yeah, bro. You, Hey! Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Yo, oh, okay. The goddamn good, the good Nate. I'm not gonna bottle. lie. The stash box water bottles from Disciples USA available on Friday, March first. DiscipleUSA.com. This is fucking hard. But this it's has like been a, a this, this has been a big thing in every smoke shop for forever. But guess what? This is not a smoke but shop. Now, this is somebody brand. But this is part of a brand. It's not just a random. Uh, it's, it's this is not a not random. Anything. This is not like you. Yeah, like I mean, like we know we all been to the smoke shop yeah. and seen a fucking little stash box before. I was blown away first time I saw that. I was like, no way. No, I'm not gonna hold you. I smoked out of a fucking bong that was like it, it was like it was like a water bottle, but like not a water bottle, like a like a like one of the ones that keeps it cold type shit, but yeah. it was a it was a fucking bong, and I was so confused and I thought that shit was the tightest shit ever. Yeah. So like, oh this shit, come on gang, you not going to the smoke shop and running into this with, nah, with this nowhere. detail, no. Jesus on it and shit. This nah, is fucking this tight. This detail, no. This is hard, bro. But I like, mean, bro, I used to have like a a, a Pringles can one yeah. where you like undid it at the top. Yeah, I had a pet. I used to have a, a Pepsi bottle one. So I was like, but you feel me? I'm not going to lie, though. If you get pulled over with this, you're getting caught, gang, because they're going to be like, there's no disciples water. You feel me? It's over <laughs> Bro, <with. laughs> hey, the is not paying attention to your, your yeah, water bottle, Brandon. The water on the top and the bottom. And the bottom. Like, yeah. Yeah, can, can you go back to the first video, actually? Gang, it's not their first yeah, day on the just job. just hating on it. That's crazy. Look, bro. That's, <laughs> if the cops seen that, that, if the cops seen that, he's not entertained. They're not even going to pick it up if they seen that in your glove department. Nah, in nah, your, that's, you're in right. your center console. They're not even going to... Oh, in the crib? Hey, nah, remember, um, remember like Absent or knows something. I know, right? Remember Absent or somebody like that that had like a Bible like that and it was a key? Nah, that's Menace. hard. Menace. That was Men I got, I got Steve fucked up. Shout out to Menace. Actually, Menace had the green actually, Bible. listen, y'all be on the lookout. I'm going to the Menace warehouse tomorrow and I'm shooting a vlog there for the BBE channel. That'd so y'all make sure to be on my ass about it so I actually go. You ever feel crazy saying BBE? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. No, I don't want to drag <laughs> attention to it. I, I I don't want to drag attention to you. I didn't want you to ask me. I should have shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> okay, nothing. we got nothing. we got uh owner of Wicked Thoughts says it cost him four hundred and eight uh four hundred eighty thousand dollars a year to run his brand. Says he took a whole year off just uh coasting coasting restocks. 
doing yeah. restocks. Oh, it says it. That's a C right there. Those yeah, <laughs> I, I think I don't know. He's just, but yeah, just doing restocks. That's that. crazy. Whoa. I mean, when you gotta hit product, you gotta hit product. You know. Yeah. I mean, honestly, shout out to Khalil, bro. Yeah, shout out Khalil. He's going I've never crazy. met the guy, but he's I've fucking heard great. Things. He's great. His brand is great. He's fucking tight, man. I fuck with bro. Okay, uh, Matt Welty of Complex says Nike Panda Dunks are the most influential shoes over the past five years. Mm, that's a hot take. I kind of like it. It's annoying. That's the most worn shoe at Disneyland, I think. This is that's the a most blasphemous post. That's disgusting. He, just, he tweeted this to get some engagement. Let's be yeah, honest. that's disgusting. He was trying to like get his Twitter lit. I like it. It's a hot take. Matthew Welty. That nigga, did you say Matthew you ain't hard That nigga said, yeah, that hairline would say that. Wait, have you ever you ever seen Full Size Run? His show that with like Trinidad James. Oh, he's and, uh, he's yeah. the, I can't see his face. Yeah, I've definitely seen that show. I think he's on full size run, right? Yeah, that, it's him. That's who that is? Yeah, oh, it's it him. Look like him. No, no, it's it's two white dudes and Trinidad James, right? Yeah. Hey, uh fuck. Hey, <laughs> hey uh right. Can you type in can you type in full size run complex? I just oh. need to make sure this is him. I was like, we can't play this. <laughs> no, you don't gotta play it. But it'll it'll like show us the people that are on there. But yeah, anyway, um, I feel like he just said that. I literally think he just said that to like get some engagement. Yeah, he, yeah, on he definitely was trying to get a spark out of Nick. Yeah, that's bro right there. Yeah, so anyway, shout out to him, man. Shout out to him. Shout out to Full Size Run. That was that was the only show on YouTube that was kind of like Is this. Is it still around? I don't know if it's still around, but that was the only show on YouTube that was about sneakers that I would watch. How do you feel yeah. about this? Oh, no. I saw this shit. <laughs> so How the fuck did I still have that, bro? Oh my this god. Is, this is hard. All right, man. We got the new Supreme North Face collab. The little split two tone, John. You feel me? I would still get the all black one. <laughs> I know. Uh, all, yeah, I'm, no, not, I'm not fucking with none. Oh, that. wait. But I you could, still get the But you got to think about it. If you could get, you could get different ones and interchange them. No, wait, no, now does it come with like, is that like one jacket you get or do you get the no, red you, one? No, and no, then you, you, get, you get one jacket like this. But say if you fucked around and got two of them. I kind of just like the red Like, camo. if I sneeze, is my shit just going to rip apart? Like, I ain't trying to have that. It's shit. a zipper down the front and back. Ah, okay. I was like, nigga, I don't want no Velcro on the back, like some costume shit. Bro, you might. <laughs> look, look. This is how I would do this if I was going to do it. I'm, I'm buying the camo one and the all black one. And I'm interchanging it. Or the, the tan and the purple and the camo. The tan and the purple is solid, yeah. The tan and purple is kind of oh, you can do this on all of them. The zippers on the front. The and tan the and the purple that's is like crazy. an OG colorway for them. That's great. Yeah. All right, now that's that's super hard, bro. The T is normal, whatever you know. Yeah. That's regular. We know that. Damn, I was about to say that shit's kind of hard. But like, <laughs> I know, but like, I'm saying <laughs> like, it's, 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 like it, it, they the do this all the time. Yeah, but yeah, that's regular. But like the fucking the, the little shell jacket was hard. I ain't gonna cap. Yeah. The hats, the hats, hats hard, are bro. ass. I ain't gonna hold you, Yadi. Yadi previewed this shit. Yachty previewed this shit like a week ago before. Okay, that shit's hard. Right? Oh, but shit. isn't the bear like two? It, was it gonna be like one fifty or some shit? It's For gonna, the bear, I'm Gucci. It's only gonna be like what, like a hundred dollars less than the jacket. The bear? Yeah. So it's like, are how you, you know? I'm just saying, like logically, if like you're if you're, a I feel you though. I feel like, you though. Why not just spend a hundred more dollars Wait, can you instead of having his teddy bears? Where, yeah, I'm not gonna hold you. I'm, if it's a hundred dollars, I'm buying the, ja oh, the jacket. Oh, the, the black bag. That black bag is dope though. I fuck with that black bag. The, the hats are ass though. I hate them. I hate those little stupid yeah, fucking camp hats. Like those, like this not 2012. Yeah, make regular snapbacks, nigga. Like those shits are ass. Five panels. What are they called? Five panels. You those can't unzip a damn. You can't unzip the snapback, bro. Oh god, you just unzipped the whole cap. I'm good. I'm fucking faded. I nigga, yeah, he don't. You do not like smoking random weed. You're like, I don't know, like, no, 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 no but he like, smoke, and he no, don't, that that no, definitely no, no, was no, it. But then I passed it to it. They don't smoke splits though. Oh, yeah, that's what I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, wait. It's straight weed. He only smokes splits. You only smoking the splits. Okay, these are fucking crazy. The off-white basketball shoes. Yeah, these are nuts. They are literally made out of. All right, can I hear your honest opinion right now on these? I mean, bro, listen. I'm a super. If I see any of you niggas in the club with these on, if I see you in the club with these on, bro. Yes, yeah, like like Dom Kennedy can't stop wearing LeBron. Don't wear LeBron to the clubs. That shit ugly. Hey, nah, these are nasty. I'm not gonna I lie. I told her like Kendrick looking. I hard. really like them. I these, honestly really like these them. These are biscuits. Like these Bro, are definitely. These they remind are like, me of Starberries. Like Starberries. Oh my 
like oh my mama these are nasty these look like some and ones bro they remind me of some starberries like, no, they do look like and ones but these are nasty. like if, the, if these were to come out like in, in 2004 these would be rest insane. in peace virgil but obviously that's the influence of what i know and that's why i like them like i, I genuinely look, like them. if i seen the if i seen uh what's that nigga name white white chocolate yeah. playing on the and one chocolate shit. Right? yeah the white white the, the professor the professor is a bunch of niggas yeah. no yeah. professor was the white one but yeah, listen, but the nigga name yeah. it was a nigga name like like was it, it was another nigga named Hot Sauce. Hot Sauce. It, it, was, a, it was a couple different white it was niggas. Hot it wasn't sauce. just no, the it was just, no, it was, no. Hot was Sauce it? was a black nigga, but Professor was the only white nigga. Yeah, yeah, I would say he was the only he white. Dude. The only white. As the white, white guy, no, white. I was like, I was like he's the one. It was the Professor. He was the one. He was like, he's so good. I they called him White Chocolate too. Thank you, thank you. I didn't even make that. But these are listen. But these are based off the Allen Iverson shoes. You feel mm, me? Like these are basically like they have the same silhouette. It's a base. They're based off. But of these them. look like some Starberries too, and some Shacks, and some Allen Iversons. Yeah, possibly a Kobe. Some Shacks is crazy. Some Sha- Sha- I see the Shack though. I see the Shack. That's a Shack after the basketball. Kind of hard. Hell no. Now y'all fucking with it, bro. These shit's gonna have to grow eight feet. These will never grow on me, nigga. With the pump, these are ass. Those are nasty. This angle is crazy. This is hey, these is like your uncle. Like your uncle got these on with some bro, big ass sh- basketball shorts. That strap around the ankle is disgusting. Yeah. Oh my god, with the I red, really, white, and blue I is gen- crazy. Yo, yo, and it says look, it has the, the hole here. you can oh, pump the air. Goodness. The actual now, basketball. I take the basketball. Right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> the basketball but don't give me no I'll basketball kicks. I'm good off those, man. Hey, recipes, Virgil, man. Yeah. Let them, hey, listen. Let them. Let them run with the vision, bro. These yeah. look like these look like a fat ass nah, nigga these, sat on them. Yeah, no, nah, these are crazy. <laughs> these look homeless. She looks AI generated. I'm not gonna hold look. you. Oh shit, that looks really real. <laughs> I'm gonna hold you. They might be comfortable though. Yeah, nigga, they made out of. This shit is made out of. You can might rock them with some baggy pants and really pull them off. Cause nigga, they, they, yeah, cause they, 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 they got on a wicker basket. It's like poking, it's poking out a little bit. <laughs> it's poking out a little bit. I have no idea how I feel about. Nah, these are ass, bro. These are he hates everything though. So I kind of, no, like I know. That. I hate okay. these. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. Nah, these aren't crazy. Yeah. Nigga, it look like a, yo, you're, it look like somebody dog ate these motherfuckers these, and they try to these, sell them. Niggas. Ones, yo, not like a slight yo, boat shoe. Insane. Look, the red ones look like a fucking bowling shoe. That got <laughs> eight. That got half eight. See, look, the baggy, no. With uh, the baggy pants. Stop, bro. Look, bro, oh, look how scrunched. Look how scrunched up it look, bro. No, those are kind of crazy. These also are kind of crazy. These ain't as bad. Okay. Oh, the, oh, oh, these are also A6 too. The slip in with the tie ups. The boot. The tie in slip ups are nasty. I see what they're doing there. I see the vision with I'm the slip I'm not mad. Man, listen. Do that anyway. like, that's just inevitable. Tie, the Who tie does that anyway? I don't do yeah, that. No, that's disrespectful. You be stepping on the ankles of your right, no, no. We, let's go. Get in the mic. No, get in the mic. <laughs> and I want you to tell everybody about how you be doing that to your shoes. <laughs> you be doing that? You be doing that? Hey, let's get into All right, let's get into the fans. All right, listen, listen, man. So look. If y'all trying to get y'all drips reviewed, tag us at Biggest Bro Entertainment on Instagram. We're going to go through and get y'all little fits off. And we got, and we we got ladies rate. here today, so don't Yeah, hey, game. listen. Yeah, hey, I'm not going to hold you. I'm going to off rip. I'm going to give you like an eight, my boy, because you come in with the tree camo. You got some like velvet forces on. Yeah. With the little tree camo, like you, you kind of house phone. You kind of did your shit. Like you look like you about to go to the Playboy Cardi concert. It's a light house. I might see fit. you at the bar at the Playboy Cardi show. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, nigga. Or not at the in the merch line, not yeah, at the bar. Yeah, at the, he's, at, line he's, he's at the merch line. Merch line for sure. Line for sure. I'm fucking with bro. Look, he got the rider chains on. You feel me? Like fuck you. You feel me? I'm fu- oh, oh, they babes. They babes. Got it. And they babes. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna up that to a nine point five. I ain't gonna hold you, my boy. You can't call. okay, my nigga getting real artsy you feel me? On some cozy. Yeah, and with hey, the ass pizza hey, sweats. Hey, you see him the ass pizza. The points. The points get some points. Hey, hey ass hey, pizza sweats. Hey, you got with the you with got, the with the Swaco slides. Them bitches like four hundred. I need pizza. Them bitches like four hundred. I'm glad he closed his legs. I was I like, I didn't want to see another slide with his legs. Hey, them like, slides bro. though. Speaking of slide, them slides is like four fifty. So my boy came. I don't know about this one. This is giving like Dom Kennedy That's LA crazy. LA yeah. drip. Dom yeah. A night a night out in LA. Yeah. Like yeah. like he going to the Roxy in this fit. You feel yeah. me? Oh He's going to on the rocks after. <laughs> Looks like bro just popped out for a cigarette. Oh, for sure. Are right, we not doing group this, photos? This, this, okay. this the on the yeah, rocks. It literally was there. Like Okay, my boy. All right, got Chrome. The, my boy got chrome? the the ass pizza with the chrome. Yeah. With the off white ones or the regular Chicago? I don't know. He, I know he, he, he's off white. He coming crazy. Oh, he getting crazy. Hey, but it, but but are they reps or are they real? Are they reps or wait wait? Oh. You want it? Don't look so sad. 
He looked like he came out of. All right. Hey, my boy got that shit on. Oh, with good the half hat. evil. Yeah, the hat evil. is crazy. The hat is crazy. Yeah. Hey, bro, swagging. I ain't like, gonna hold you. I like that. I'm fucking with it. You know he got the shoes. Wait, what shoes he got on? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Were those pandas? What shoes he got on? Nah, they're not pandas. They're not pandas. They're not pandas. I'm not even going to hold you. They are? He got on air hollows, bro. I swear to God. He got on. He got on. He lying like a motherfucker. All right, next slide. Oh, my mama. Oh, my mama, you got air hollows on. I swear to God. Get him off screen. We're not even rating that shit. My bros, my bros swag the Skechers is crazy. Yeah. Bro, I air hollows is great. I, bro, on my life, those was air hollows. I swear to God. Yuri. Uh, hey, no. Hey, that's you're, insane. Hey, we giving bro an L with the air hollows. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm all, sorry, that's over with. That's an L. That's an L. It's, L. it's automatic. Anybody that even owns those is crazy. Yeah, it's automatic L. This is definitely No, no, this is actually the homies, and they just did some funny shit, so don't even say nothing. <laughs> all right. My say, good house phone fit. Good yeah, house that's phone a good, fit. Yeah. Good house phone good fit. House I'm gonna give fit. my boy a ten out of ten. Uh, I'm you rocking would. this fit. I'm rocking that whole. I'm, I'm like, wear that. I might. I might put up to the snow like that too for the pick too. I ain't gonna hold you, Moose Man. Shout out my boy. Yeah, Moose shout man. out my boy Moose Man. Okay, he got the. He got the moose. He got. I fuck with. He got his own. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. The little flip shirt is kind of cool. Hey. Suzuki with the uh, the Oakley. That, that shit is dope. That's dope. That's hey, dope. And his haircut's fire. So I'm fucking with my nigga. Moose Good little man. exhibit. He be in your chat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you be in our shit too. He's, he's one of my. Yeah, he's in here too as yeah. well. Shout, Shout out, out to, to man. Shout out to him. You need some high rollers though. You Good. definitely need. Look at that pose. And he got that nothing personal shirt. And he got the craziest cut. I'm fucking with bro. That's fire. All right, man. W Moose man. Yeah, let's get it. Right, Shout out to my boy. All right, time. let's let's we can end this right. off, man. Honestly, All right, let's do a couple more, and then we a couple can more it. what? More Instagrams? Yeah, do a couple because we haven't done it. Oh shit! What the what fuck? The oh yeah, going next, on? next, 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 next. No, 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 no. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. What is going on right here? What? Is, huh? What? What? What's she happening? Taliban? Bro, this is bro. What this is? We can definitely crazy promo. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> oh, it's like a blasty, bro. Yo, y'all are jokes. Biggest bro, bro archive. I, I gotta follow that page, man. I gotta remember to follow this that page. I'm following all shit. Biggest Bro fan accounts. That's funny. Oh my god, bro. All right. What does it say? Got aura? Yeah, that's oh out. My god. all right. Not next, the got, not the aura T. Get it that next. Not the aura T. This is crazy. Nah. Y'all be on the internet too much, gang. Y'all gotta go outside and like. Oh, we got another good personal bag going, but okay, okay, you, yeah. but it was too late, my boy. I'm not gonna cap. <laughs> <laughs> the aura T was crazy. Yeah. What's crazier, air hollows or the or the aura T? Aura easy. <laughs> <laughs> no, as much bro, as I hate it, bro. Which one is really crazier, no, bro? Air hollows, I, air hollows by far margin. It's like not even close. <laughs> Bro, I couldn't believe. Once I realized, that's what. I, what I still don't know, but I, I'm like eighty no, percent sure. Right? If you, if you called it out from like, that, like, I, like I really looked, I was like. Nah, we're not doing that. Yeah. We might block your account. I'm not I can tell by the awkward ass shape. That's why I knew. Yeah, we blocking bro account. It's over with. All right, man. Listen, let's end the show off, bro. I'm high as fuck and I'm hungry as fuck. All right, chat. Episode 54, man. We appreciate y'all, man. Thank you guys for being our. Thank our, you for our having me for like 15 like, minutes. The, the rest uh, of our uh, co-hosts just left to go to a weed event. Randomly. Yeah, so we, they think they're so like y'all, really y'all cool. Y'all saved the show. show. Thank you. Button over here. We almost had. Wait, we almost had 50k subs. We almost had 50k subs. Yeah, run us up to 50k. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Hey, listen. The code, the code for the high roller site will keep keep continue going until 9 p.m. So run that 20% up. Don't say it on camera. All right, appreciate you guys, man. Love you.